point lead and going to be a blocking foul underneath there. And that one's going to be called on Emma Callahan. A little sportsmanship there, though, a little help up there at the end. So take a look at it right here. Callahan just trying to get those legs set, but it looked like she might have been shuffling just a bit. One is just a little bit short there. Batista back in along with Thomas. This is going to let for down the line. Five points here in this first half. Trying to make it a four-point ball game right here as we are under the three-and-a-half mark here this first half. And the second one is there. Six points for the junior. 28-24 the lead for Fannin over Gilmer here in this first half of this last set of ball games here. Our nightcap, final girls game of this Monday night. And, of course, the boys to follow later this evening. And a tough shot right there. Boy, she nearly got that to go. Well, Caldwell there. And we got another whistle on the baseline. Take a look at that sequence right there as Ellie Callahan trying to get the turnaround to go. Bautista whistled for the foul there. That's her second. Take a look at Ellie Callahan. Seven points here in this first half. This is on the first. Neither team blazing the nets on these free throws. No, not at all. And um, what really kept Gilmer going there early against Copper Basin before they were able to kind of get the, the offense really moving. The foul shots were there. So after a, a kind of a little bit of a slow start, this Lady Cat offense has picked up a little bit, although they still find themselves trailing by three. Ellie Callahan's picked it up. She's got eight points and leads all scores here now after that last free throw. And going to get whistled for another foul right here, though. That's her second. Yep. So 2.51 to play here in this second quarter. Lady Rebels will inbound it here with a three-point lead. York will come back in as Batista sits. Good little rotation right here by Ryan Chastain. Dressed up tonight. He got suit. He's got that uh, shirt and tie. He's always uh, dressed pretty fancy, though. Having grown up here, it's, it's still a, a change to not see Coach Farmer over there. <laughs> right about that. Saw a lot of those right there, a lot of three-point shots in Coach Farmer's time. That one out of the hand there of Natalie Thomas, and now she leads all scores with nine, but you're right. A lot of, uh, lot of legendary coaches involved in, in all these series here is another bucket for Ellie, so they just keep swapping the lead, and Ellie Callahan in double figures now with 10 points. So a good first half for Ellie to take away there by Beth Burnett. Gilmer within four, works out of their half court. Hope Caldwell launches a three-point shot short there, taken down by Ledford. And Fannin back and going the other way inside two minutes here of this first half. Three-point shot on the way. That one just short, though. I tell you what, Thomas was feeling it. After that last one, she was trying to make it back-to-back -back trays, but a little bit short on that one. Inside there, a foul going to be called on Sisson. You know, it's really been a, in the first half. I mean, good ball movement by Gilmer. A lot of second and third chance opportunities for Fannin. We're kind of winning the, the battle of the boards and on the glass here a little bit in the first half. It seems to me that's kind of been the battle here. Yeah, absolutely. It's It's been a, a, a kind of a, a tale of two ends of the court for sure. Um, Gilmer got an opportunity to try to chip away at this lead right here. Just on the first. You, you don't want them to come back and think about missed free throws, though, at the end of a ball game if it's a tight one. Yeah, both teams have had their share of it, for sure. Callahan at the line right here, trying to make it 11 in the first half. Fan does so. So Lady Cats with it a few right here, 31-28. Going to press. Got court pressure right here. Lady Rebels do a nice job there, and they've got the numbers inside. Look up and in. Natalie Thomas with another bucket. She's got 11, the senior. It's a five-point lead again, and a nice job by the Lady Rebels there, a textbook way to break that press. I don't think the ball really hardly ever touched the ground on that sequence. Deaton unable to get that one to go, taken down by Ledford. Now the Lady Cats will back away here with just over a minute left. Inside, York trying to shoot it out. 
Oh, we got a hand on it, but Pannon maintains possession. Knocked away there, a little contact, no whistle. Coach Chastain wanted a foul. Cowell inside, puts up the shot off the glass up and in. The hope was seven points in the first half, and it's a three-point lead, 33-30. And once again, Lady Rebels have some numbers in transition just inside the line there. I'm not sure Natalie really got her feet set quite on that one. She'd love to have that one back. 30 seconds left. Here she is from the corner. That time she did set her feet. She knocked it down, and wow, what a huge second quarter for the senior Natalie Thomas. She's got 14. Off the bench, too. It was definitely giving Coach Chastain's team a spark here right before the half, six-point game. Deep inside, knocked away. The last touch, though, they say by the Lady Rebels, so Gilmer will inbound with just nine seconds left here in this first half, and what a half it's been. Fanning going to take a timeout here and talk about what they want to do defensively with nine seconds left, maybe try to force a turnover right here on the inbound. 60-second timeout right here on the floor, but just nine seconds left in this first half. Want to say hi to our crew, man. They've been there. You can look at Coach Susan Nunn trying to rally her troops, trying to get a bucket here before the half. Lady Rebels looking for big things in 2020 going into 21. I think a lot of people are looking for better things to happen in 2021. I don't think we're alone <laughs> in that regard. <laughs> trying to get out of this year, man. We had a Danny Hensley signing earlier as we talked about. Uh, Jeremy Green, of course, and Donna Enos doing a good job on the earlier games today. We'll see them again tomorrow. They'll be on the early games as well tomorrow. And of course, those will be fun. That'd be an old school robbery. Fan and Copper Basin. Good to see Copper Basin back in the tournament. They were out of it for a few years there, uh, but back in it. And really, Copper Basin has renewed a lot of the robberies this year. They were they were scheduled to play Fan and football. No, it yep. didn't happen, but they played Polk County, which is their in county you know rival of old that they hadn't played for years. But they got that game in this year, so it's good to see those guys getting back to playing some of those teams. They're playing some good football this year, too. Absolutely. Turnaround there by Ellie Callahan, who has a huge first half herself with 13 final seconds off the clock. And Lady Rebels unable to get the shot off. But a good first half of high school basketball here between these two. Ellie Callahan of Gilmer leading the way for the Lady Cats with 13. And Natalie Thomas, the senior, off the bench with 14, leading the way for the Lady Rebels. We will step aside and hear from Coach Ryan Chastain, who, again, is looking for some big things out of his Lady Rebels. That is part of our halftime coverage. You're watching the ETC Piedmont Mountainside tip-off tourney. We're back in a moment. Security needs to be at the top of the list when it comes to your family, home, and lifestyle. We offer advanced systems that provide a secure connection to dedicated professionals who can dispatch first responders at a moment's notice. Your system will feature an easy-to-use touchscreen that intuitively makes operating your system as simple as one touch. It's state-of-the-art security that fits into your lifestyle and your life. Give us a call today to learn more. Get along down the road, we got a long, long way to go. Scared to live, scared to die. We ain't perfect, but we try. Get along while we can. Always give love the upper hand. Pain to walk, learn to dance. Call your mom, buy a boat, sing a song, make a friend. Can we all get along? You know what, guys? There's a lot of tree branches and dry brush over here. We should probably move the bonfire over there. I'm guessing Smokey liked that idea. Security needs to be at the top of the list when it comes to your family, home, and lifestyle. It all starts with our security system, which lets you add control of lights, door locks, thermostats, and more. In addition to dimming a light, locking a door, or adjusting a thermostat, you can combine all of these to work with the press of one button on your keypad or phone. It's state-of-the-art security that fits into your lifestyle and your life. Give us a call today to learn more. 
Back here courtside, Dave Garner alongside Caleb Frady and the rest of our crew. We welcome you to the ETC Piedmont Mountainside tip-off tourney. Caleb, good first half, back and forth. We've got a good one. Real good one. You know, Fannin been able to execute that offense. Uh, really good shot selection out of the Lady Rebels, too. Good offensive rebounding. I think that's been the big key to them, getting those second-chance points. And uh, Gilmer's got a little bit of work to do down four here. Absolutely. Well, it's going to be an exciting basketball season, hopefully. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Looking forward to an excellent 2021, as we mentioned just a moment ago. And one of the teams we're going to be keeping our eye on is the Fannin County Lady Rebels. They've got a good nucleus of players, as we talked about. We've seen that already here in the first half. Let's check in with Coach Ryan Chastain, who we caught it with prior to this year's tournament, to talk about this year's Lady Rebels. We are here with Lady Rebels head coach Ryan Chastain. And, Coach, we appreciate you uh, taking some time with us today. Uh, you're now in your third year, so uh, you're officially tenured now as the head coach <laughs> of this team. And uh, so let's talk about, you know, the last couple of years and, and kind of how that has helped you into building this program to where you want it to be. Yeah, I think I think the the most the thing that carries over the most is just our level of expectation. You know, since you, when you come in your first year, uh, there's a lot of teaching that has to go on, the way we do drills, the way we do scrimmage time, things like that. And I think the the biggest change is is coming into this year, especially a year where COVID took away a lot of preparation time. Is the girls knew what to expect when they got here. Uh, we're returning six seniors and three juniors, so nine upperclassmen who uh, they know how to come in and practice. They know what we expect when they get here. So that has helped us with some uh, uh, having a little less practice time. But we, we have high expectations for this group. Uh, we, we've put a lot of expectations on them. Uh, here in the in the early going, and uh, we hope that will pay off as the season goes on. Yeah, and, and so um, the, that is so important right now, I guess, because there are so many unknowns, right? Mm -hmm. and, and sort of talk about your preparation. You, you're preparing, you know, without your summer. Uh, you're preparing to uh, go into a new region with teams, a lot of them that you've never even seen before. And mm -hmm. so uh, just sort of talk about uh, that, that preparation and, and how that's gone so far. It's gone okay. We, we were able to get together and run during the summer uh, to try and keep them in shape. Of course, we had to be outside and socially distance and do all those things. And uh, we ended up getting a couple of weeks in the gym right at the end of the summer. We had to stay spread out and follow all those guidelines. So we didn't, it wasn't a total loss. And uh, one thing that's important too is getting them together in the summer so they can just be together. There's a chemistry element to that. So even though we were outside running on the football field in, in July, there's still that element of we want to get the group together. So so they can bond with each other. So that was good. Um, we've played a lot more in practice uh, than we normally would this early in the year. We just have to have more uh, more scrimmage time because we lost all those scrimmage games in the summer. You know, normally you'd go to team camp. So we've tried to play a lot more uh, here in the early going than normally we would. So that's been different. Uh, we are going to a new region. Um, we've seen film on about everybody. Of course, those are last year's teams, though. So you have seniors graduate and, and things, you know, people come and go in the program. So everybody will be different, but we were able to get an idea of what, what the league's going to look like. And uh, so we'll just keep moving forward. And obviously, it's a big weekend for us. ETC means a lot to us in this program. You know, these kids, they grow up playing against Gilmer and uh, Pickens and Copper Basin their whole life from rec to middle school. So they all know each other, which adds a, a, another element to it. So it's a big weekend for us, and we're, we're excited. And speaking of the tip-off tournament, you guys won it last year, mm -hmm. and so um, you have an opportunity to repeat there. But you also have an opportunity to, uh, to, to make some waves in this region. You know, you guys haven't seen them. They haven't seen you either. And so right. you, you get to sort of come, uh, you know, out of nowhere. And so let's talk about that, your expectations. What do you expect? Uh, I guess, first off, you have a large group of senior leaders. What do you expect from them? And what are your expectations when we gaze into that crystal ball at the end of this year? Yeah, well, they, they ranked us number eight in the state in the preseason for AA. So I, I, I've told them from the beginning, the target's on your back this year. We're not sneaking up on anybody. Everybody's kind of got us circled on the schedule as far as our new region. Um, I've talked to a few coaches and they, you know, of course, when coaches talk, everybody compliments everybody, you know. Oh, you guys are going to be good. You guys are going to be, yeah, you know, there's those conversations. But the thing with us is we know we have expectations. This is going to be a new season for us compared to the last two. The last two, like I said, we could kind of sneak up on some people. Nobody really had us circled on the schedule. But now, especially after winning ETC, going back into this weekend as the defending champion, you know, there's going to be no surprises, everybody. You're going to get everybody's best shot. So we're really pushing the kids hard to prepare, knowing that this year there's going to be a higher level of, of play expected. Yeah. Well, we're looking forward to watching uh, the year play out, and good luck to you, Coach. Thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you. High-speed Wi-Fi. 
not quite as important as running water in your home, but close. Ignite Internet from ETC powers your Wi-Fi network with consistent speeds to keep all your gadgets going strong. Streaming video players, laptops, tablets, even smartphones, so you're never stuck with those big cell data charges. And talk about value. Just pick your speed and keep the Wi-Fi flowing in your home at a great low price. Upgrade your Internet today. Call or visit etcnow.com to learn more. Years of dedication, sacrifice, desire. It's all come down to this one moment. Game day. Where only the strong survive. And the warrior with the best barbecue sauce always wins. Shane's Shack. Where every day is game day. This country was built on self-reliance. Our fathers and grandfathers knew when something was broken, they should know how to fix it. Here at Latrell's Hardware, we believe in the old-fashioned way. We believe you shouldn't have to drive out of town, and you darn sure shouldn't have to do it twice. Most importantly, we believe our customers should be like family. So come see us here at Latrell's on Highway 68 in Copper Hill. Let's roll up our sleeves and make this country great again. I have 23 minutes to myself this week. And the 4.99 DQ chicken strip basket is the quality my meat time deserves. And by quality, I mean kicking back with a DQ classic all to myself. All white meat chicken strips, golden fries, Texas toast, and ranch. No distractions. Just a 4.99 DQ chicken strip basket and me. DQ, happy tastes good. Bill Holtz Chevrolet Blue Ridge is bringing you an endless summer of savings during the Chevy Open Road Sales Event. We've got the area's best selection of new Chevys with truckloads coming in daily and up to 15% off MSRP on our hottest models like the Equinox and Blazer. Keep more money in your pocket this month with up to 9000 off new Silverado trucks. Plus get 0% APR financing for up to 72 months. When it comes to new trucks and SUVs, there's only one name you need to know. Bill Holt Blue Ridge. Great ball game right here as we get set for the start of the second half. And uh, a lot when we look back, uh, Dave Garner alongside Caleb Frady, looking back at that first half, a lot of great perimeter shooting, which is really the difference for Fannin being able to jump into this uh, lead here. At Absolutely. Fannin's really shot the three ball well, executed, setting up those shots, getting those girls open a lot of the time. And uh, we mentioned when they've missed those three balls, doing a great job getting the offensive rebound. So I think that's been the key to them having this four-point lead here so far as we get set to start this second half. going to be a really good ball game. Absolutely. A lot of second chance and third chance points for the Fannin County Lady Rebels in that first half. So here we are back to action. Gilmer with the ball first here to start the half, but a quick turnover right there. And the Lady Rebels already with it, working out of their half-court set and a four-point lead, 36-32. As we said, Dave Garner alongside Caleb Frady, the rest of the crew with you. Trevor Williams on the controls here tonight. Cole Heiss making sure everyone's doing their job as well. And the rest of this crew as we welcome you back to the ETC Piedmont Mountside. Dip-off tourney. Nice job there. Deaton kept it alive. Hope Caldwell on the floor. On a knee, flips that ball up. And over to Emma Callahan, and now it's Gilmer on the other end and trying to work something out. Now, you know, Del Land always said that the the other goal, opposite of where we're at right now, always was the one that had a lid on it. And he said if he took the shooting percentages of the different goals, he said there would be a great disparity between the two. So if that's the case, and Gilmer's within four right here, then we'll have to see if they're able to shoot a little bit better on this end. And I mean, there you go. There may be, there may be something to that as Emma Callahan comes out of the gate. Left goal being kind to Gilmer there. And say so Fannin stepped out here. So a quick turnover and one point ball game, 36-35. This is the, uh, you know, you got a, got a northeast and a, and a southwest goal here, technically. <laughs> if you uh, whip out the uh, compass there on your, on your iPhone. Gilmer, as we saw, a lot of good ball movement there in the first half, as we talked about. Deaton unable to put up any uh, points. She did have a free throw in that first half, but zero from the uh, field. Which brings a lot of defense here. Has had some opportunities. If she's able to knock down a few shots, it's a different ball game. How about that little run and floater right there from Reagan York? Her dad, Richard, was a standout basketball player, and her mom, of course, was Shannon, was a uh, Hall of Fame uh, 
athlete at Fannin County High School. Grew up in Blue Ridge and was part of a state championship team. So she comes from a pretty good pedigree. And there's a three-point shot right there by Beth Burnett, who had a had a pretty solid first half herself. That's her eighth point there in the uh, senior. Ties this ball game up at 38 all. That shot off the mark wouldn't go there. Lids on it that end so far here for the Lady Rebels. about York and her parents. I know work with Richard a little bit. So, you know, Richard was a standout at Piedmont College. I think he might be part of their Hall of Fame over there. She's got some good genes. I'll tell you what. I have no choice but to be a good ball player in that family. That's right. <laughs> Whistle inside there. Foul going to be on Mackenzie Johnson, it looks like. And how about a first half for Natalie Thomas, the uh, senior from Fannin County? 14 points, as you mentioned, off the bench. Did a lot of that. As Ellie Callahan knocks down the free throw. And speaking of, Ellie had a solid first half. She ended with a Baker's dozen, steps out here with a free throw and gives Gilmer the lead by one. And the second one on the way, and it's good. So 15 points for Ellie Callahan, who now leads all scorers. And another takeaway there. And then the foul going to be called on Becca Ledford. Very physical first half here. We've seen a lot of takeaways, and these two teams not afraid to mix it up. You were talking about history and tradition. You're talking about Coach Farmer. Of course, you had Coach Horton here at, at uh, Gilmer. You, uh, you had, of course, Roy Coward at Pickens. You had this, this, you know, these coaches have been there for a long time, and it was just kind of the signature mark of all those teams to be physical, you know, be able to shoot the three-point shot well and to be physical, and that one gets away there. I think these, these two teams right here trying to kind of return to that form, you know. Absolutely. And in a rivalry game, you know, you, you definitely want to, you know, be physical, kind of impose your will, impose your game plan on the uh, other team. And, and so far, you know, it's been a pretty gritty game underneath the, uh, the baskets for sure. They've, they've really battled and gotten physical with each other. You'll notice one thing they do is they swap the ball out when it goes out of bounds or comes in contact with someone else. They will swap it out and then they will sanitize it as they're doing here in front of us. You can't see that off camera, of course, but that's uh, you can be assured that when they're playing. Well, there we go. There's a good shot of that one on the mark. And got the spray there. They're uh, rubbing it down. So 40-38. Gilmer trailed a lot of that first half, but have climbed their way in it, stayed with it. This goal has been kind to Gilmer <laughs> on just, this end so I was far. just thinking the same thing. Man, it's been cold to come out and start the second half here. Yep. It's been on the ground and another loose ball, jump ball call, possession arrow to Fannin. Lady Rebels will have it. Good battle there underneath before they get the whistle. Gilmer bottling that thing up, possession error not in its favor, but Gilmer's been able to score. And a double dribble there. Saw a carry in the first half. Now we've seen a double dribble. It's still early in the season. Like we mentioned earlier, neither of these teams have gotten to play prior to the tournament, just the second game of the year for both these teams. The play is going to pick up over the course of this tournament, and then by next week, they're going to look like they're fairly sharp. But get some of those early season jitters out of the way with limited practice, limited personnel, you know, COVID quarantine. You're kind of in and out of the lineup with a lot of your players. Yep. Well, that that's a good point. I mean, it's it's one of those things we always talk about this tournament kind of you know being that stepping stone into the rest of the regular season and when we see these teams later in January and February kind of using this as a, as a measuring stick of where they are now and where they will be at that point once they get there and as you see Hope Caldwell taking it and they're drawing the contact this was you know traditionally when it started it was that tournament that was basically the first games for everyone. But now, you know, with the GHSA and the kind of shifted the dates a little bit sooner. So typically, by the time these teams get here now, they've already played a game or two. As Caldwell knocks down the first. Ledford's going to have to come out of the ball game. That's her third foul here. Yep. Natalie Thomas comes in for her. A pair of free throws for Caldwell. She's got nine. And Lady Cats extend their lead to four here, 42 to 38. 
and a takeaway there. Trying to find the home run ball. One thing Gilmer didn't do a great job of it at the end of the first half was getting back in transition. Now they are a little bit better. I'm sure Coach Nunn had, to, had a chat with her girls there at halftime, and that went over the top of the backboard there. Good idea to try to just get that thing go right back up to get the whistle, but off the mark. We'll put it back where pressure. We saw this really once in the first half, and Fanta did a nice job of being able to break the pressure, but not this time, though, as the Lady Cats get the uh, turnover. That went a little strong off the uh, backboard there, and you can tell Calhoun's a little bit frustrated on those last couple offensive possessions. She wanted to foul on Mackenzie Johnson there. That went off the mark there by Ledford. Back quickly on the other end, and this time lays it up and in. Ellie Callahan with 17 points here in this ball game. And the Lady Cats are slowly starting to try to pull away a little bit here from the Lady Rebels as Ryan Chastain calls the timeout. 12 to 2, the scoring differential since the half. Wow. Security needs to be at the top of the list when it comes to your family, home, and lifestyle. We offer advanced systems that provide a secure connection to dedicated professionals who can dispatch first responders at a moment's notice. Your system will feature an easy to use touch screen that intuitively makes operating your system as simple as one touch. It's state of the art security that fits into your lifestyle and your life. Give us a call today to learn more. I want to say hi to all the folks with ETC Security as one of our sponsors here. We appreciate everyone from ETC and the ETC Security family and also our friends at Piedmont Mountainside Hospital. Again, quality health care right here in the Georgia mountains. And we appreciate the partnership that we've had and enjoyed for many years now as we come back from this 30-second break. And a message from ETC Security, and it's 44-38 in favor of the Lady Cats. Fanning with the basketball. Lady Rebels had a four-point lead at halftime, as you said, Caleb. 12-2 run right here by Gilmer out of the gate. Is open it up a little bit. They're going to wave off the uh, bucket here. They're going to say a whistle on the floor prior to the shot. And the uh, Fanning fans here thinking that should have been a little bit of a continuation there, but they didn't get that call. So they'll inbound it underneath their own goal here. 3.16 to play, third quarter. 44-38, Ellie Callahan leading all scores here with 17. Back on the other end after the turnover and a whistle and a foul there as Emma Callahan hits the deck. Get uh, Olivia Sisson on that one. That's her third. Yeah. That was Deaton down here that got whistled for Gilmer. That's her second. And get a look at Emma. Callahan, the senior, knocks down the first. Six points tonight for her. And Coach Chastain calling that timeout just a moment ago. I think he kind of sensed that the momentum was starting to shift mightily in the favor of the home team here on the scoreboard tonight. And it was a good timeout. But the Lady Rebels have to start finding some offense. They've obviously come out cold here in this second half. Mackenzie Johnson up top. Trying to go inside there, but that one got deflected away. And now Hope Caldwell off and running. Gilmer forcing it. And what a look there. Ellie Callahan, little little pump fake there. Went back up with it. 19 points for the junior. And it's a nine-point Gilmer lead. And there's another turnover. Three-point shot on the way. Beth Burnett drains it. Big bucket there. She's got 11. And Fanny may have to think about another timeout here in a minute as the Lady Cats just continue to widen the gap here in this third quarter. It's really been a disastrous third quarter for Fannin. And now the call going the other way there on the charge. I think that's going to be four on Sisson, eh? It is. It is. So she's in trouble. And that's a lot of their size there in the center as well, about to probably have to come out of the ball game. Although, I'm leaving her in right now. Oh, no, now she is coming out. Yep. So they'll swap up defensive assignments right here, and they'll put York on Ellie Callahan to try to slow her down a little bit. Gilmer will get it in right here. Caldwell takes it all the way. How about that? Splits a couple of defenders, and she's in double figures. Three Lady Cats in double figures now here in this third period. And that 
one nearly taken away there. Fanta's got to get it across here, and they do, but barely. It's almost as if the Lady Rebels now are kind of forcing the issue a little bit, kind of sensing a little bit of desperation here. Just two points since the half. They're going to call the foul here on, yep, yeah, I believe that's Thomas. Natalie Thomas, again, as we talked about, 14 points at the half, but has not scored here in this third period, although she hasn't been in there the whole time, I don't think. Okay. And now we've got a Gilmer time. Gilmer time out here. Coach Nunn wanting a 30 second. We'll keep the action right here. 30 second timeout, 52 to 38, but what a change of fortune for Gilmer and a change of misfortune for Fannin here in this third period. As you said, Kelly, just two points for the Lady Rebels here. Just a, a night and day difference. You know, really what we saw, you know, Fannin was shooting the ball really well, especially from three there in that first half. And then they come out here ice cold uh, on the Dell land into the floor and, and scoring the one bucket. And Gilmer's really found a, another wick. And, and you can tell Fannin's starting to press a little bit and they're making mistakes. They're turning the ball over left and right. And Gilmer's making them pay by making those shots off those turnovers. And so Fannin really needs to slow down and just kind of, you know, it's not out of hand yet. Slow down, set the offense, get a bucket or two, get to the end of the quarter, and then you can get reset. And Lady Cats with a 20-point third quarter so far. They've outscored Fannin 20 to 2. It was a Fannin four-point lead at halftime, and now it's a big deficit here, 53-38. And of course, with the six fouls here, you're now the one and one. Yep. Gilmer want to they want to try to take advantage of that. Still got a, almost a minute 40 here left in this third quarter. Deep missed the second, but offensive rebound right there, and the roll for Hope Caldwell, and now Gilmer winning the battle of the boards that time, and Caldwell with 13. Gilmer turning some pressure up here. Blocking foul. They're going to be on Ellie Callahan. That'll be her third. So, wow, it's been a crazy third quarter right here. One that Lady Rebels <laughs> would be surprised to see him hold the ball a little bit right here just to get out of this quarter. But what they've done really is they've dug themselves a hole <laughs> going into the fourth quarter, and they desperately need points, and all of a sudden they just, just hadn't happened for them. And credit Lady Cats defense. They've definitely stepped up, got a hand in the face. I think Coach Nunn may have had a talk with her crew at halftime and saying, hey, we've got to do something here. Good look right here by Deaton. Three-point shot just a little bit short there out of the hand of Caldwell. Back the other way and a little too tight right there. And once again, one and done. Well, Fannin was winning the battle of the boards there, Caleb, in the first half. But now all of a sudden they've been one and done this whole quarter. Yeah, Gilbert's done a much better job of getting under there, getting aggressive, getting those balls. Um, Fannin gave itself a lot of opportunities there in the first half on second chance boards. Up and in. How about that? Wow. They just fed that ball into her in the middle of two defenders. She was calling for it. You see her hand up right there. And so Callahan, another plus one opportunity right here, has 21. Well, and, and she's a height in this match right now, especially with Sisson being out of the ball game. So you, you just feed her underneath and let her get go to the line. Knocks down the free throw. 22 points tonight for Ellie Callahan. And, you know, we talked about it uh, again. Got off to a little bit of a slow start in the first quarter. She missed her first, you know, three or four from the uh, from the field. And, and has really stepped it up here. And turned it on to another level. 20-point lead just like that. Man. Wow. Back the other way. We've seen Becca Lefford. She's had some opportunities here in this third quarter, but again, she's had a lot of white shirts in her way on the way to the basket, but she will draw an opportunity at the line right here. That went on Deaton. <laughs> and there we go. First point since early in the quarter. About a minute in, maybe. I was going to say, yeah. We're at 19 seconds left here, 19.5 seconds left here in the third period. So they've went almost an entire quarter. And just, I think, one field goal, though, is the 
again, knocks down both free throws right there. He's got eight points, does Becca Ledford, but I think just one field goal in this quarter. Meanwhile, the Lady Cats have come out hot. I mean, they 20. Four-point quarter right here, I believe. And good little chunk there, but we'll fall short, and that'll do it. So through three quarters, the Lady Cats have turned things around here, and they've jumped out by 18 points. 58-40, Lady Rebels got their work cut out for them in this fourth and final quarter. We'll be right back. Get along. is bringing you an no, endless guys. summer of savings during the Chevy Open Road Sales Event. We've got the area's best selection of new Chevys with truckloads coming in daily and up to 15% off MSRP on our hottest models like the Equinox and Blazer. Keep more money in your pocket this month with up to 9,000 off new Silverado trucks. Plus get 0% APR financing for up to 72 months. When it comes to new trucks and SUVs, there's only one name you need to know. Bill Holt Blue Ridge. Around here, we like a slower pace, but we don't suffer with slow internet. ATC provides fiber-fast, reliable internet and Wi-Fi, backed by local customer service. From email checkers to video streamers to hardcore gamers, we've got speed options to please all kinds of folks. If you need an upgrade or just have a question, get in touch. We can't wait to help. ATC, the right internet connection right where we live. Contact your local State Farm agent today. If you want the real deal, call State Farm agent Chris Wong in East LJ today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Years of dedication, sacrifice, desire. It's all come down to this one moment. Game day. Where only the strong survive, and the warrior with the best barbecue sauce always wins. Shane's Rib Shack, where every day is game day. ETC knows the internet is evolving, taking new twists and turns as we add our input, make our choices, and follow the light that connects us all. It's quite a journey, one to experience with the fastest speeds available. Contact ETC. Connect to the internet speed that suits your journey. And enjoy the ride. I have 23 minutes to myself this week. And the 4.99 DQ chicken strip basket is the quality my meat time deserves. And by quality, I mean kicking back with a DQ classic all to myself. All white meat chicken strips, golden fries, Texas toast, and ranch. No distractions. Just a $4.99 DQ chicken strip basket and me. DQ, happy tastes good. Most of us are in touch with the internet in one way or another all day long. A fast, secure connection matters. It keeps us entertained, informed, in touch. ETC cares about your connection. We know strong, reliable internet with your choice of speeds. If you need an upgrade or just have a question, get in touch. Call or visit etcnow.com today. 
Bill Holtz Chevrolet Blue Ridge is bringing you an endless summer of savings during the Chevy Open Road Sales Event. We've got the area's best selection of new Chevys with truckloads coming in daily and up to 15% off MSRP on our hottest models like the Equinox and Blazer. Keep more money in your pocket this month with up to 9,000 off new Silverado trucks. Plus get 0% FDR financing for up to 72 months. When it comes to new trucks and SUVs, there's only one name you need to know. Bill Hope Blue Ridge. suffer with snow. Oh, there's internet. a bunch of wires down there. ETC provides fiber fast, reliable internet and Wi-Fi, backed by local customer service. From email checkers to video made. streamers to hardcore gamers, yeah, we've got speed options yeah. to please all kinds of folks. If you need an upgrade or just have a question, get in touch. We can't wait to help. ETC, the right internet connection right where we live. Kind of intimidating looking, everybody. Yeah. Test one, test one, test one, one, two, one. For your surprisingly great rates, contact your local State Farm agent today. If you want the real deal, call State Farm agent Chris Wong in East LJ today. Like a good neighbor? I don't want another State Farm chance to you. Years of dedication, sacrifice, desire. It's all come down to this one moment. Game day. Where only the strong survive. And the warrior with the best barbecue sauce always wins. Shane's Rib Shack. Where every day is game day. ETC knows. The internet is evolving, taking new twists and turns as we add our input, make our choices, and follow the light that connects us all. It's quite a journey, one to experience with the fastest speeds available. Contact ETC. Connect to the internet speed that suits your journey. And enjoy the ride. I have 23 minutes to myself this week. And the $4.99 DQ chicken strip basket is the quality my meat time deserves. And by quality, I mean kicking back with a DQ classic all to myself. All white meat chicken strips, golden fries, Texas toast. No distractions. Just a $4.99 DQ chicken strip basket and me. DQ, happy tastes good. Most of us are in touch with the internet in one way or another all day long. A fast, secure connection matters. It keeps us entertained, informed, in touch. ETC cares about your connection. We know strong, reliable internet with your choice of speeds makes life better. If you need an upgrade or just have a question, get in touch. Call or visit etcnow.com today. Bill Holtz Chevrolet Blue Ridge is bringing you an endless summer of savings during the Chevy Open Road Sales Event. We've got the area's best selection of new Chevys with truckloads coming in daily and up to 15% off MSRP on our hottest models like the Equinox and Blazer. Keep more money in your pocket this month with up to 9,000 off new Silverado trucks. Plus get 0% APR financing for up to 72 months. When it comes to new trucks and SUVs, there's only one name you need to know. Bill Holtz Blue Ridge. Get along.
Around here, we like a slower pace, but we don't suffer with slow internet. ATC provides fiber fast, reliable internet and Wi Fi, backed by local customer service. From email checkers to video streamers to hardcore gamers, we've got speed options to please all kinds of folks. If you need an upgrade or just have a question, get in touch. We can't wait to help. ETC, the right internet connection right where we live. Surprisingly great rates, contact your local State Farm agent today. If you want the real deal, call State Farm agent Chris Wong in East LJ today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Years of dedication, sacrifice, desire. It's all come down to this one moment, game day where only the strong survive, and the warrior with the best barbecue sauce always wins. Shane's Rib Shack, where every day is game day. ETC knows the internet is evolving, taking new twists and turns as we add our input, make our choices, and follow the light that connects us all. It's quite a journey, one to experience with the fastest speeds available. Contact ETC. Connect to the internet speed that suits your journey. And enjoy the ride. I have 23 minutes to myself this week. And the $4.99 DQ chicken strip basket is the quality my meat time deserves. And by quality, I mean kicking back with a DQ classic all to myself. All white meat chicken strips, golden fries, Texas toast, and ranch. No distractions. Just a $4.99 DQ chicken strip basket and me. DQ. Happy tastes good. Most of us are in touch with the internet in one way or another all day long. A fast, secure connection matters. It keeps us entertained, informed, in touch. ETC cares about your connection. We know strong, reliable internet with your choice of speeds makes life better. Bill Holt Chevrolet Blue Ridge is bringing you an endless summer of savings during the Chevy Open Road Sales Event. We've got the area's best selection of new Chevys with truckloads coming in daily and up to 15% off MSRP on our hottest models like the Equinox and Blazer. Keep more money in your pocket this month with up to 9,000 off new Silverado trucks. Plus get 0% APR financing for up to 72 months. When it comes to new trucks and SUVs, there's only one name you need to know. Bill Holt Blue Ridge. Good evening and welcome to the final four here in Blue Ridge between tonight's matchup between the Fannin County Lady Rebels and the Butler Lady Bulldogs. I'm Tim Tao alongside with former Fannin County head coach and Hall of Famer coach Johnny Farmer. Uh, we are pleased to bring you tonight's broadcast. Uh, final four here in Blue Ridge for the first time ever. Uh, coach, when you were uh, coaching, uh, all the final four was in making as well. So this is a, a an historic right. game, you could say, for, for, for Fannin County. First time hosting the final four, and uh, the crowd is filing in uh, very well so far. I think by the time they get the number, maybe a record crowd here in this new gym uh, for the final four. It's kind of weird saying we've got a final four here in Blue Ridge, Georgia. Because uh, uh, we'd always get the final four, there's always in making. Even when we played, uh, there were just eight teams selected. Uh, We'd always go on a neutral site, and when they started with a 16, uh, we'd still uh, open up with a, uh, no, well, then they'd start with a higher seed to play, but the second round then uh, went to a, a venue that, uh, that, that no one had, uh, had played at. Going to be a fun matchup. Uh, 
Our opponent, Butler, uh, coming off a win against the one seed Columbia, 57-56. Uh, um, Fannin County is hosting this game by virtue of a coin flip. Uh, they won the coin flip, so they will be hosting uh, our first ever Final Four here. Um, as you're looking live now at warm-ups, uh, Butler has walked onto the court, and so is Fannin County. Uh, just a great crowd uh, coming in. We'll go over uh, Butler uh, out of Region 4. Um, overall, they're 21-4 and four, um, on the year. Uh, their playoff victories, uh, uh, they beat Varian 47-37. Uh, they beat uh, uh, Woodland Tompkins out of uh, Savannah 62-47. And just this past Wednesday, uh, they beat Columbia 65 uh, to 57. A uh, Region 4 coach, an historically good region uh, uh, for AA girls basketball. You know, even when I was uh, coaching, you used to hear about Josie, Laney, not so much Butler, but uh, now it looks like they've entered the picture. Uh, Josie's still alive and in, for the state championship. They came through the other bracket. Uh, was Washington County ranked number one now after early? After I, I believe so, I believe so, Coach. So, so uh, you told me they got upset last night. So it's Josie and the side, and and Butler still alive here along with Fannin County. So it, uh, they're a very strong region because uh, Laney got uh, bumped by somebody. But usually, for years, uh, that's where I used to go to travel to get some of my uh, videos and, and stuff from. Have to drive all the way to Columbus. Day after with the Elite Eight, <laughs> make for a long day. So uh, the winner of this game will play uh, Josie in the uh, state championship game in Macon. I believe that game is going to be Thursday at noon. Uh, do not do not quote me about. I believe that is what time uh, the winner of this game will play in the state championship game. Um, this is going to be a great atmosphere tonight, an historic night. Uh, the first ever Final Four hosted here in Blue Ridge, of course. Uh, not, not the first time we've been in the Final Four. As coach, you took several teams to the Final Four. Um, but this is the first ever Final Four game here in, in Blue Ridge. We'll uh, step aside and take a quick break, and we'll be back, uh, uh, introduce uh, the, the players for both teams. And we're actually going to probably, I think, be joined by Athletic Director David Henson. slower pace but we don't suffer with slow internet ATC provides fiber fast reliable internet and Wi-Fi backed by local customer service from email checkers to video streamers to hardcore gamers we've got speed options to please all kinds of folks if you need an upgrade or just have a question get in touch we can't wait to help ETC the right internet connection right where we live Great rates, contact your local State Farm agent today. If you want the real deal, call State Farm agent Chris Wong in East LJ today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Years of dedication, sacrifice, desire. It's all come down to this one moment game day where only the strong survive, and the warrior with the best barbecue sauce always wins. Shane's Rib Shack, where every day is game day. We're back on it. All right, we're back here. 
Fannin County High School for the Final Four, first ever Final Four ever hosted here at Fannin County High School between the Butler Bulldogs and the uh, Fannin County Rebels, uh, the Fannin County Lady Rebels, uh, champions of Region 7 AA, a new classification for the Rebels this year. Um, they have defeated Lovett in the uh, playoffs, have defeated Heard County, and just recently defeated number one Early County in the Elite, excuse me, in the Elite Eight at Early County. Coach, we were down there Tuesday. Uh, what a what a what a game it was. Oh, it was um, a very exciting game to uh, to watch. Uh, I mean, sure it wasn't for Ryan, the coach, is a uh, very intense there towards the last, and uh, found out that we wasn't on uh, uh, <clears throat> TV. There we uh, we lost. Uh, a little footage or uh, uh, toward Dan and they comment a little bit on the uh, final four here. Uh, you know, as a fan, it's great to uh, you don't even have to travel to and we used to as Blue Ridge. Uh, they cut, say they won't cut the last person cut the lights off when they leave Blue Ridge. But uh, it's a great opportunity as a fan uh, to do that as a as a coach. I, I like it. I like it to it to the point. But uh, you know, as, a, as a, a fan that comes down and spends the whole weekend, there's uh, uh, eight class, seven classifications in private school, so there's uh, eight games. You, know, you could receive 16 games, but now you, you know they've delimited it down to eight. Uh, it's going to be a special night here in Blue Ridge. Uh, of course, Fannin County, seven AA region champions, uh, defeated Chattooga in the region championship uh, at Chattooga. Um, Different, uh, different region for the Rebels this year, and the Rebels have had success as the uh, wrestling team has uh, won the state championship uh, just recently, and the uh, football team um, went to the Elite Eight cross country, had had some success. So it's been a special sports yeah, year. Sure, for, for sure. I mean, I, don't, I think Manicana. it's been like five or six region championships. One, I said, uh, when I coached up here for 31 years, I was never even heard of. I mean, uh, very... Um, very good that the teams. Uh, now we still got the spring sports to go: baseball, uh, uh, both boys and girls soccer, boys and girls tennis, track, boys and girls. And I'm sorry if I've left one out uh, sport, but I think I got them covered. Yes, there's uh, been a special year for Fannin County athletics. We we're going to be joined by athletic director David Henson. Um, of course, David's very, Mr. Henson's very busy right now. Uh, so we may not get to him as you're looking live at warm-ups there uh, here in uh, Fannin County High School. Uh, Coach, you said that we may break a record crowd, and I'm, I'm with you. Yeah. There, there is a ton of people here. Uh, we're at 20 minutes till tip, and there is not many seats yeah. left. There's one or two behind us. I, you know, they've got all the rails that they could go, but I don't know what the fire code is uh, set out here, but they've got plenty of room that they could stand around the rails. Uh, Remember when my oldest brother played out at West Fannin? Man, they'd be all the way setting up. You couldn't even really take the ball out of bounds in a region tournament. He's just jam packed. So yeah, it's it's good to see. I remember the days, Coach, uh, when you were a uh, uh, lay Rebels coach in the old gym. The atmosphere it was special. You couldn't, huh. and it's all. But tonight's going to remind me of those days, uh, the battles that you had, and all the great crowds that you had. Right. It was a uh, it's jam packed, and even ever ever home game it seemed like you know and. And all the years I got to coach, I only got to uh, host the region tournament twice. Well, I think one of them was a sub-region tournament. I and mean, hosted the region tournament one year in the new gym. And a lot of teams just don't like to travel. You know, you have to vote for it. I'd always vote for Fannin County. <laughs> we didn't get many other votes. <laughs> so uh, we are now 19 minutes away uh, from tip. Um, <coughs> We'll be able to find out who the fouls on tonight. Hopefully, you know, with our, our scoreboard. Yes. It was, it was hard because the official put you back to you, and you couldn't really see the, uh, uh, the, you know, what numbers he was holding up on his hand. Yeah. We were at Early County last uh, <laughs> th this past Tuesday, and the scoreboard was actually above us, and we were having a hard time identifying what, who who the foul was called on. So hopefully that will not be a problem uh, tonight. Um, as you, you're looking live now here at Butler uh, warming up. Coach, let, let's talk about that game uh, in the Elite Eight. We, we went down to Early County, a long drive for us. Um, yeah, I said on the thing is what, 320 something miles? It, <laughs> it, was, it was a long trip. <laughs> it, was, it was a long yeah. trip. We have, you know, we went down there. Uh, Michaela Timpson, <laughs> uh, four star, number 48 player in the country, committed to Florida State. We heard about her all week. Um, 
you know, a lot of times when you when you hear about a good player, sometimes they don't live up to the hype. She lived up to the hype, in my opinion, last uh, last uh, this past Tuesday night against against Fannin County. She's very athletic, had a soft touch on the shot. I like the thing I like about it. She's right-handed, and uh, she hey, she go left as good as she could go right. But uh, I, I'd have to try, take, maybe try to take her left hand away because that's the way she looked to go all the time. Uh, yeah, uh, she. I think she ended up with 41 points, um, but the Rebels were able to, to to get her in foul trouble. I believe she fouled out with about two minutes yeah, to go. somewhere like that. Um, so, and the Rebels were able to hang on. Uh, Natalie Thomas was the leading scorer for the Rebels at 15, off the bench too. Yeah, five threes, uh, I think. Yeah, hit hit five threes. Um, we had uh, Courtney Davis had 12, Becca Leopard had 11, Abby Leopard had 13, That's Reagan York had 11. So that's a very consistent score. Got five kids in double figures. I said that's a high school basketball. That's almost unheard of. You know, you usually got two, sometimes just one. Yeah. And uh, you know, and you know, we didn't mention Olivia Sisson's name, but you know, Olivia done a great job. Um, yeah, Michaela Timpson for Early County scored 41 points, but you know, Sisson. What we don't talk about is, is her rebounding ability, and she did play very good defense on from the second on half on. Uh, I think she only scored 10 points yeah. in the second half. I think she, I had her down and, uh, for six, but I think she ended up having more than that. I believe she had about 10 and, in, the, in the second half. But the girls, uh, uh, like you said, they hadn't been uh, pushed all year long, and uh, they couldn't really give her a blow. They did it, did it one time there. Uh, about a minute to go with left in the third quarter, they took her out, rested her a little bit, and then had a minute for the timeout. But uh, I think that's the only time she come out of the floor. And, her offense, uh, she didn't play that much defense. She hid back there in the mail, but she, uh, I think she, uh, I think she got four. I watched it on TV the other night. I think she got four of her five fouls by blocking shots. She'd block a shot, but she would uh, not jump straight up. She'd lean into the uh, to one of our players and then get and get the uh, after effect of the uh, uh, be a one and one. It wasn't a two shot foul, so it'd be a with uh, uh, <laughs> that new rule with a six. Uh, uh, team fouls per quarter, you know, and the seventh they shoot. Uh, like I said, as a coach, I don't, I, I, I don't like that. I don't think so. Uh, got, I'd have to be coaching in a few games, but it just seems like you don't get to shoot many one on ones. And a team that is, comes in and pops five players in and out, in and out, like I watch Pickens County does. It's a, uh, you know, you, uh, you probably still won't get you know, use seven fouls, and might you get to shoot your first one on one. Yeah, of course, we're talking about the GHSA's uh, foul per quarter rule. The GHSA is uh, one of the few teams that are uh, um, experimenting, a few states that are experimenting that. And let's actually go uh, courtside and listen to this ovation uh, that we will have. The Fannie County Lady Rebels just moments away from running out. And this place, uh, I expect the crowd to, to go crazy right here. Kenzie Johnson, senior. The cheerleaders are getting them uh, ready. We're right at 15 minutes until until uh, we throw it in. We don't we don't tip it in. We don't tip off this year uh, due to COVID rules. We uh, we throw the ball in. So that's a, not a normal basketball term, but we are 14 minutes now and change until we uh, we get started here. Lay Rebels are moments away from entering for their official warmups. I tell you another thing I like with the Final Four being here as as a coach. Uh, down at Macon, there's no background. I mean, they may be 50, 100 feet behind. And if you had if you shot in a big coliseum, they get 20 minutes or you know maybe 30 minutes to warm up. You know here you get you get the regular high school gym setting where you got background drop in each one. Yep. So uh, I would think that would uh, play to our benefit. And here come the Fanning County Lady Rebels. The student sections on their feet. Everybody in this gym has rose to their feet. Great crowd on the home side. And here come the Fanning County Lady Rebels. Seniors, uh, Priscilla Bautista, Olivia Sisson, Paige Forsman, Mackenzie Johnson, Abby Ledford, Natalie Thomas. This will be their last home game, Coach. You know, uh, yeah, and thought of that, yeah. It's a special uh, treat when you get to play in the final four and you're in your own home gym. I mean, that, 
That'd be great. Oh, Lord. <laughs> As a uh, lot, lot of people here, <laughs> Coach Farmer, if you don't know from uh, from Fannie County, Hall of Fame coach, uh, won several state championships. He's quite the popular uh, popular man here. As we're, we're posing now for our third picture, I think. Very honored to have very honored to have uh, Coach Farmer here alongside this broadcast and his expertise. Uh, it's going to be a it's going to be a great game. Butler coming in. Some some uh, back and max preps I believe has Butler ranked fifth in the state um, out of Region Four. A uh, very competitive region in, in uh, historically in in AA. We will. Uh, we're going to take a quick break, Coach, as we're uh, 12 minutes and about 30 seconds away from uh, from opening tip. You're, you're listening live on ETC3 and uh, Fan Rebel TV. Uh, we'll be back in just a few moments. ETC knows the Internet is evolving, taking new twists and turns as we add our input, make our choices, and follow the light that connects us all. It's quite a journey, one to experience with the fastest speeds available. Contact ETC. Connect to the internet speed that suits your journey. And enjoy the ride. I have 23 minutes to myself this week. And the $4.99 DQ chicken strip basket is the quality my meat time deserves. And by quality, I mean kicking back with a DQ classic all to myself. All white meat chicken strips, golden fries, Texas toast, and ranch. No distractions. Just a $4.99 DQ chicken strip basket and me. DQ. Happy tastes good. Most of us are in touch with the internet in one way or another all day long. A fast, secure connection matters. It keeps us entertained, informed, in touch. ETC cares about your connection. We know strong, reliable internet with your choice of speeds makes life better. If you need an upgrade or just have a question, get in touch. Call or visit etcnow.com today. Bill Holtz Chevrolet Blue Ridge is bringing you an endless summer of savings during the Chevy Open Road Sales Event. We've got the area's best selection of new Chevys with truckloads coming in daily and up to 15% off MSRP on our hottest models like the Equinox and Blazer. Keep more money in your pocket this month with up to 9,000 off new Silverado trucks. Plus get 0% APR financing for up to 72 months. When it comes to new trucks and SUVs, there's only one name you need to know. Bill Holt Blue Ridge. Get a long run down the road. We got a long, long way to go. Scared to live, scared to die. We ain't perfect, but we try. Get along while we can. Always give love the upper hand. Paint a wall, learn to dance. Call your mom, buy a boat, sing a song. Make a friend, can't we all get along? Around here, we like a slower pace, but we don't suffer with slow internet. ETC provides fiber-fast, reliable internet and Wi-Fi, backed by local customer service. From email checkers to video streamers to hardcore gamers, we've got speed options to please all kinds of folks. If you need an upgrade or just have a question, get in touch. We can't wait to help. ETC, the right internet connection right where we live. Surprisingly great rates, contact your local State Farm agent today. If you want the real deal, call State Farm agent Chris Wong in East LJ today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And we are back nine minutes away here from, uh, I guess you would say throw in, you wouldn't say uh, from tip off. Uh, we do have uh, Butler starting uh, lineups. We're going to go ahead and give that to you. Uh, Number one, Lauren Brady. Number 21, Jamisha Slater. Number 23, Jayla Thomas. 
number 24, Markira Tarver, and number 25, Rihanna Sims. Ebony Fields is the coach for Butler. The Lady Rebels will have their original starting five that we've seen all through the playoffs. Number 13, Becca Ledford. Number 24, Abby Ledford. Number 32, Mackenzie Johnson. Number 33, Reagan York. And number 44, Olivia Sisson. Obviously, we're going to see Thomas and Davis off the bench, Coach. Uh, after seeing the Rebels play uh, the first few playoff games, you know what, Coach, tell everybody uh, back home, you know, what's your assumption of the Rebels and how? Well, uh, they're a very uh, good shooting team. I, like I, I told somebody the other day, I've always maybe had one or two good, good shooters. Uh, it seemed like that they've got uh, four and five kids and, uh, put it up. I always used to coach a little more post in oriented and tight, but I mean, they've had a lot of success playing uh, uh, four out, one in, and uh, uh, you know, my, hat, my hat's off to them. I tell you, uh, they did you know, a tremendous job. They came back in a hurry uh, Tuesday night in the third quarter. I mean, they is uh, look back up at the scoreboard and it was down 11 in the moment. Look back up there, they had it tied. Tons of town on this Fannie County Rebel team. Coach Ryan Chastine does an outstanding job getting all these women some minutes. And you will see Paige Forsman also yep. come off the bench uh, tonight as you're. Uh, she'll, she'll, yeah, she will play. Backup. She gives a lot of uh, strength to the inside. Uh, always had a term used for it. Uh, and don't mean it in a bad sense. Uh, she's a good garbage player. I mean, she just cleans up the glass inside. And, and then uh, she, you know, she gets you two, two, four, six, eight points a game. Uh, she's just a good hustler. Coach, uh, we may already have a record crowd here at the new gym. I've, I've not seen this place, this packed. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen this place this, this packed. This, this is uh, great. They're packed in over there pretty tight, you know, on, a, uh, on the home side. Uh, we're supposed to, uh, they told me, uh, we get the far section down there is spanning, and the far section down here, they get in, uh, Butler gets the first of uh, the three middle rows here. So, you know, Fannin always fills up that side over here anyway. As you're looking down the visitor side, the visitor side is, is filing in as well. We are about uh, just under six minutes to go till tip. Uh, it's great to see so many members of the Fannin County High School administration. Uh, Interim principal Dr. Debbie Decabellis is here. Uh, Scott Ramsey, of course, uh, Heather Collis, and uh, Athletic Director David Henson. I'm, I'm looking over to my left shoulder. I see Coach Cheatham, uh, Fannie County football coach. I, I'm looking there in the crowd. I see uh, defensive coordinator Adam Turner. But, Coach, what I do see is a ton of former Fannie County Lady Rebels in the building, many who you've coached. Uh, I've coached, uh, coached a lot of them, but I've seen some of them that, uh, when Coach Pass was coaching them. Uh, still know them very well. Uh, it was the group when I first started taking over uh, the boys. Uh, is, uh, when my son uh, graduated with a lot of them. A, so I guess the reason I remember them so well is, is that they're with a 211. That's when uh, my son Jordan uh, graduated. And I went out with him and retired that same year. So. Lady, uh, Lady Rebels and Rebels of all ages here uh, tonight. I do want to give a shout out uh, to the eight-year-old girls uh, Park and Rec All-Star team for Fannin County. They won the state championship uh, tonight, uh, excuse me, this evening, beating White County all the way down in Savannah. Uh, and our 10-year-old girls are playing, uh, going to be playing Raven County at the same time, five o'clock uh, in Raven for the 10-year-old uh, girls of uh, Park and Rec State. So the future is very bright for this Fannin County Lady Rebel program. Got to be happy for Coach Chastain knowing you got talent coming. The middle school program's good and just a very bright future for Fannin County basketball. Right. Like I saw, you you also said that the boys finished fourth. Yes. So that's nothing. Yep. You know, when you get uh, very athletic in South Georgia, it's uh, uh, that's something to say that, uh, uh, our, that our boys team uh, finished fourth. And, uh, Absolutely. You know, I've watched them play several times at the rec center, even the boys and the girls. Watching the eight-year-old girls practice, so it's uh, uh, very exciting that uh, kids uh, love the sport of basketball. I've always had. So, 
And what, what is amazing, you see the high school coaches in Fannin County, uh, Coach Chastain, Coach Richardson, Coach Cheatham, Coach Stone, Coach Patterson, uh, all these coaches, they, they take a, a big investment in the recreation yeah. program, and that's how you build a program, and they're doing a very good job. Yeah, I remember when Ryan took over the program. Uh, I worked a couple of days at the rec center, just had something to do. He's, he's been out there several times watching his practice. And, and so he's, you know, uh, putting forth the effort, trying to build the program, uh, keeping it uh, very supportive. We're three minutes away from from basketball here, Final Four basketball here in Blue Ridge as we will now have the captain's meeting as uh, Coach Ryan Chastain and Abby Ledford uh, will join the officials at center court. Abby Ledford, captain of the night for the Lady Rebels. Abby Ledford played very well last Friday night, or excuse me, last Tuesday night down in Early County. Had a, had a great uh, third quarter as in the process, I guess, yeah. Not even on offense, but she got on the floor and got got some steals and uh, made some. Uh, made a, well, I remember one great move going to her left. I hit about two threes uh, on the on the comeback there. We're uh, two minutes away now from tip. Uh, Chris Seabold at the uh, at the scores table. He will be the public address announcer. You know he's going to be excited tonight. This crowd, first ever Final Four ever hosted here in Blue Ridge. I know we've said it several times, but this is a big deal. This, this is a big deal for uh, Blue Ridge, Fannin County, this whole community, this program uh, to get back to the Final Four. I'd like to comment here. We got uh, right down here below us here is Donald Shockley, our Lady Rebels number one fan. No doubt. No he's, doubt. Uh, he used to quiz me uh, when he first moved here around. The, I was already thinking the boys. And, He'd co uh, quiz, quiz me on all the stats. He, uh, he's, uh, he's good on it. If you didn't ask him a question, he probably, he probably knows it. Statistician, he's uh, he's doing a uh, – he's been – Donald Shockley's done so much for our program. Yeah, he's uh, very loyal. He even helped with uh, – one of my son was playing baseball, and he'd get out and help drag the field uh, over the baseball. So, I mean, he's, uh, he's been involved. Uh, Another person sitting right near us, Andy Arp. Uh, yeah, I'm Fanning, behind us, yeah. Fanning, Fanning County Quarterback Club president, he's here. Uh, what, what a great supporter of Fanning County yeah. Athletics what he I, is. Bill what Prather. I like about Andy is that he didn't have a kid no. even in the program, and he's the president of the booster club, football booster club. And, yeah. I, and I've, I've sat and talked to him. Man, he's a special person to be able to. You know, take time off of his normal job. And, and Absolutely. Let's, let's uh, take it down the court side and listen to uh, public address now for Chris Siebel. Oh. 
Coach, I don't think we can hop it up anymore. I don't think Chris Sebo can hop it up anymore. It's Final Four basketball time here in Fannin County. Getting ready to start off here with a visiting team uh, taking the ball out through COVID here. Lauren Brady inbounding the basketball. Number 24, uh, Kara Tarver. Starting out straight man to man, Fannin is. Student section is loud, and that'll be a Fanning County basketball. Seems like they're uh, look like they're matching up man to man. Also, Butler, not pressing, half court man. Baker Ledford bringing the ball up. Olivia Sisson sets the pick. This is it off to Abby Ledford. Reagan York with the ball. Reagan York drive. Nice pass. Nice Olivia. pass. Olivia finds Abby for three. No good. And rebound Butler. Number 23, Jayla Thomas with the rebound. Gives it to her point guard, Lauren Brady. And Butler will score the first two points of the night in Jayla Thomas. Check the 23 on the Butler side to see if she's uh, in good condition now. She's early in the game. Reagan York with the basketball. Becca Ledford now trying to make something happen. Move the decision, sets a pick. Ooh, be careful that long pass. Mackenzie Johnson in the corner for three. No good. Rebound Jayla Thomas and Butler. I like that one, number 23 for Butler. She rebounds. I've watched her rebound twice. She holds the ball very high. She didn't let it down in there where the guards can get it. Nice defense there by Reagan York. But Thomas still gets the ball. Is able to get around Sisson there for two points. She got the little hook down twice here. We gotta just be patient here, not, not get too much. Uh... Kenzie Johnson with the ball, gives it to Reagan York. Double team there. Now yeah, that corner. Good crossover. Huh. Stay with it. Jayla Thomas blocks Olivia Sisson's shot, and it's Butler basketball. Three-point shot there for Butler, no good. Rebound, Mackenzie Johnson. Johnson pushing it up court. That letter just a little bit too much for that. 
When you turn over like that, it's not bad though, Tim, because dead ball, when you get back, we get that chance to set our defense up. Still very early in the first quarter, 545. Oh. As uh, Mackenzie Johnson got a hand on it, so there'll be no traveling violation. Number 25. Here on Sims Drive. They're not going to let us play a little bit. Uh, I thought we bumped her coming through 25 down the line, but there you go. Becca finds Abby. Abby finds Olivia. Olivia to Reagan York. Reagan York driving. Reagan York. Man, nice see first two points of the night for the Lady Rebels. And that's the icebreaker for Fanning County. They need. Now they can just relax and play basketball. Thrown away there by Abby Ledford. Abby Ledford all by herself. Abby Ledford. All right. Four. Ties the game for the Lady Rebels. Seems like they're, they're going to try to throw it into 23 there. We, we doubled it up pretty quick there. Three-point shot there for Butler. No good. Rebound Butler. Lauren Brady now is top of the key. Yeah, and she will be caught for traveling violation. I think it plays into our hands. They're not really uh, making a full-court game out of it. They're coming down and not really pressuring of. Uh, the Lady Rebels too good just letting us run our half court offense. Becca Leffer with the basketball for Fannin County. Reagan York goes Long inside Olivia there. Sisson. Reagan York drives around. No foul there. Rebound Sisson. And they're going to have a foul. He's got 25 there uh, in the black. And that is uh, Brianna Sims. So Brianna Sims will be called for her first foul. And that's the team first. Think about it. Look the other day, she's the leading scorer. Johnson finds Ledford. Becca Ledford, that is. Illivise pass, and Reagan York's unable to corral it. And it'll go out of bounds, and it'll be Butler basketball. Great crowd here at Fanning County High School for the Final Four. First ever Final Four ever hosted here in Fanning County. Looks like they brought the big girl out there. Shot there by number 21, Slater. No good, but they let number 20, uh, Paris Little. I don't know whose man that was, but she got free inside there, and they had the girl, big girl blocked out. Well, well, Olivia did. Slid in underneath. Becca Leppard with the take. And she will be fouled. Nice take there by Becca Ledford. <clears throat> we got to shoot her free throws better than what we did the other night. And uh, against Heard County, I think they were like 21 or 25. That's, yes, Heard that's County a very, was a great night. And yeah, then the struggled a little bit against Early. That looks good. <laughs> that, a good arch on her shot there. That's what you got to do, get her above the rim. Give it a chance to go. That foul was on Jamisha Slater. That's her first and team second. Just to remind everybody back home, the GHSA is one of the few states they're experimenting with the fouls per quarter rule that may go into effect next year. As Becca Ledford gets two. So what that is, is now you only you get six fouls a quarter and then go into bonus, not, not in the half as originally was in the previous years. Butler trying to work the ball inside. And that'll be a jump ball with the possession arrow in favor of the Fanning County Rebels. Abby Ledford uh, pinched down on her uh, the season playing behind, and she wanted to put it on the floor and uh, got a hold of it. Courtney Davis checked in. She's a freshman. Little bit got, got tipped a little bit. Becca Ledford in there fighting for some rebound. Doesn't get any help there, and it'll be Butler basketball. Butler now driving. Brianna Sims taking it herself. Brianna Sims rebound mm -hmm. Courtney Davis. Be forced to take a bad shot there. It was Courtney Davis with the ball. Pass inside to Sisson. Sisson dribbles. Go up. Got to try to get that big girl in foul trouble. That's the biggest uh, girl they got on the whole bench. Reagan York. Ball thrown away there. They got quick hands inside. Yeah, Paris Little, that's her second still, I believe, of the night. Paris Little right there oh. in the corner. No good rebound. Courtney Davis, her second rebound. Come on, girls, push the, push the ball down the floor here. Courtney Davis for three. No good. 
Rebound Lauren Brady. Lauren Brady. Back. Lauren Brady goes coast to coast. Becca Ledford comes yeah. from behind and knocks it out of bounds. Great, Great effort. Great effort. About, about hit our ETC cameraman. She uh, she really poured it on there to catch up because she's going to get a breakaway layup. Paige Forsman checking in there for Olivia Sisson. And Brianna Sims also goes to the bench for Butler. 6-6 six, six our score. Coach, it seems Butler is trying to, when they, when they do set the offense, they do try to look inside yeah. to uh, Jayla Got Thomas. Still by Becca Ledford. Becca driving. She gets nope. fouled by number 20, Paris Little. That's her first and team, team third of the quarter. I don't think they've uh, substituted yet, have they? they, they somebody just came They're in there for first. Sims and as uh, Priscilla Bautista will uh, check in for Fanning County. Davis to Becca Ledford. Still in a man. Paige Forsman finds Bautista. Bautista to Natalie Thomas, who just checked in. Natalie Thomas for three, and it's good. Coach, we saw her hit five threes last Tuesday down Early County. She's still got the hot hand. As Brady finds Thomas, that's no good. Rebound, Paige. Good job, Paige. Stay with it. As uh, early count, excuse me, uh, Butler, Lauren Brady got a corrals kick it. Ball, kick ball right here. So uh, Butler will maintain possession there. Number 25, Brianna Sims will check in for Butler. Giving uh, Paris Little a break. Exciting game so far, nine to six, our score in favor of the Rebels, 139 left in our first period. Got the high post screen there, come off the dribble. Ooh, could have got 23 for over the back there. But. Jayla Thomas uh, foul no call. Oh, Natalie no. Thomas to get called for a double dribble. She knew she done it. A little excited there. She's looking for another three-point attempt there. I'd remind everybody you're watching on ETC3 and Fan and Rebel TV for the nice broadcast. Slater's shot no good. Rebounded by the Rebels. Courtney Davis pushing it up. Courtney Davis finds Becca Ledford. Becca Ledford crossover. Pump fake. Okay. And Lauren Brady thought she had all ball. Referee said otherwise. That would be the crossover by Becca. Got it in the middle around the free throw line for a jumper. <laughs> and we got to get Becca involved early, Coach. We really didn't get Becca involved until the third quarter um, Tuesday night. So it's good to see Becca and yeah, nice. uh, hit her third free throw. Three, yeah, first three in a row there she's hit. Arch is a lot better than it was Tuesday night. Uh, a little short there. Ledford misses the, the back end. But Ten to six our score here. Manning County Lady Rebels in the final four. As number 25, Brianna Sims goes up and will be fouled. And she has have a chance for a three-point play. Uh oh, Ledford's down. She's uh, hope she didn't twist her ankle to come on somebody's foot. As all of Rebel Nation holds their breath, as Mackenzie Johnson will check in. I got the breath knocked out of her a little bit. She hit her pretty hard there on, on the ball fake. Pretty athletic move there, pump with a pump fake there, got her to come up. It was Brianna Sims attempting a three-point play for Butler, and no good. Oh, we shoot. We, oh they called no, up. They not call the. It shouldn't be that she made the basket. Yeah, they counted the basket because they had six. It, it makes eight. They so. were attempting a three-point play. So now the referees will one lead. One shot. Should have been one shot. Fanny County had the possession on the rebound, but will they go to a jump ball coach when they have an mm. official's error, or what will they do here? Well, if they know that she had possession of it, it should be Fannin's ball. But they may go to a... Uh, she ain't going to get another one. <laughs> if you would I imagine was, the, the, I, If I was Ryan, I'd be arguing that, and we can give yeah, her another Brianna one. Brianna Sims went to the line. Mm -hmm. It'll be Fannin Rebel exactly. basketball. There we go. So they, they've done the right thing. Mm -hmm. And that's our... As a referee right there is explaining the situation to uh, head coach Ebony Fields. I, love, I like to see 
referees get together and get the call right. Yeah, it always happened. Baseball, football, you got time to, you know, two eyes. And now, uh, now, got, now the issues of the possession arrow, I think I mean, it shouldn't be, but they go to the, yeah. they go to the scores table and for Seabolt, but I'm not sure if, sir, what if the we had possession of them or not. We, they said it our ball, so. All right, so. Page Forsman finds Courtney Davis. Courtney Davis with the drive. Courtney Davis. Good move there with a, a Euro step. Lauren Brady. Tosses We're trying to help back. Davis guarding Brady. That's long. Rebound Page oh, Forsman. Nice. You gotta love nice it. rebound. You gotta love the inside presence that Page Forsman has brought the last few games. Whoop. Oh, that, was, that was a reach in. Foul no call. It. McKenzie Johnson still with the basketball for Phantom. Paige Forsman is going to set a pick. Priscilla Bautista with the ball, almost on the way by Brady. Johnson corrals it, now gives it to Davis. Davis drives. No foul call good, there. Hey, good hustle, Davis, on the floor. That's what I like. Uh-oh. You got to love the effort there. Davis banged her head there, going for the ball. Love the hustle, but it'll be... Butler basketball is a possession arrow. We'll go to Butler. I always like getting those 50-50 balls. Balls on the floor, so we got we got to get after it. All right, four seconds here, first quarter. Sims driving, she loses the ball, and I don't. She got the shot off, and it's no, no good. good. No good. And the Lady Rebels will lead 12 day at the end of the first quarter. Coach, we'll stick around and talk. What do you see if the Lady Rebels are doing well? Well, they're getting, they're getting a chance to run their offense, and uh, they're not forcing them into a fast-paced game. I thought they would uh, uh, be full-court pressing. Uh, Butler might, but uh, that's, a, that's a benefit to us that we don't have to have that much pressure. But you got to be able to play some uh, extra people, too, and I think they just subbed once. Yeah, I believe they did. They, they subbed uh, Paris Little out and got her a breather. Yeah. Lauren Brady running the point, doing a good job. It, it, it just appe appears to me they're trying to get the ball inside the Jayla Thomas. Yeah, but we're, uh, we're double teaming it good. We're keeping, coming over and giving backside help with it. And uh, Abby Ledford stole it once. We deflected it. Because uh, she likes to put the ball on the floor. So uh, I'm sure Ryan has uh, uh, seen that in film. And, uh, yeah, and, and, and you know, and being aware of that. kind of advantage us is we, we double teamed uh, Michaela Timpson. Mm -hmm. Uh, all night on last Tuesday, so the Rebels are used to double teaming a, a post player as we start the second quarter here. 12 to 8, our Looks score. Like they went, uh, no, they're still man. I thought they went to a zone, but they stepped up. Natalie Thomas with the basketball. Natalie Thomas driving. Ooh. Going away by, hit, I mean, bad away by Lauren Brady. Good Abby, hustle, good hustle by Abby Ledford there. Abby Ledford, a locker room leader in this for this Lady Rebels. Come on up with us, isn't Sisson dishes off to Ledford. Ledford oh. throws it away. She did, she better better if she just turned around and squared up. I think she uh, had a good look inside. Uh, Our uh, second quarter, I believe, is sponsored by Dairy Queen here tonight, Coach. Yeah, me and my grandkids go there quite often. <laughs> a little bit of ice cream. Brady trying to work it into Jayla Thomas. Ooh. Shot no good. Rebound Natalie Thomas. Looking Natalie. for a guard. Looking for a guard. There we go. Ball in McKenzie Johnson's hands. Abby they they switched the that pick right there. Got number one for a foul again. They switched the pick on the. <clears throat> so Lauren Brady, that's her second personal. Kenzie Johnson with the basketball. He's wanting to pick there. Pat on the head means want to pick up top of the post. Abby Ledford, good ball moves by the Rebels, trying to find something. He's trying to, they're zoning that out front now. They've, they're switching it on the pick. Oh, nice move by Reagan. Oh. Great move there by Reagan. Keep it alive, keep it alive. Sizzling with the rebound, she finds Abby Ledford. Abby Ledford shot, no mm. good. Ball nice shot. rebound. How about nice that, Coach? I'm not sure if you can hear how loud this place is in your living room, but it is loud when the Rebels oh. score. Ball's on the way there. 
Abby Ledford with the basketball. See what they give us here off the fast break. McKenzie finds Reagan. Reagan guarded by Brianna Sims. Lauren Brady now tasked with guarding Ledford. Yeah, they're, they're switching all the picks out front now. Good defense there by McKara Tarver for uh, Butler. I got it for a, a little foul there. <clears throat> That's just now switching to the quarter. That's just what, second or third foul? Yeah, that'd be the fifth foul. That, yeah. This would be the sixth foul, and that is Jamisha Slater's uh, second foul as well, Coach. We've got two players with two fouls on that. Abby Leffer with the basketball. Natalie Thomas, shot That's no short. good. Rebound, Jayla <laughs> Thomas. They're going to get Fanning County. Mackenzie Johnson with the foul. I think that's just our first foul, so. Bannon County not in foul trouble. Becca Ledford and uh, Johnson, the only ones with a foul, as Becca <laughs> Ledford and Courtney Davis check in. What a crowd here, Coach. Yeah, whole top rail's full up there, and even some all the way to the back back there now. I think that's where they put the cheerleaders up. So yeah. I have to look up there and see them on top rail. Lauren Brady driving, nice pass. Oh, nice steal there, there but. Uh, Olivia, they haven't shown, but they haven't shown that they can shoot the ball out, outside at all. Becca finds Abby. Abby led for the Courtney. Courtney finds Reagan in the corner. Reagan finds Olivia. Olivia shot. Too long. No good rebound. Lauren Brady and Butler. Allen passed to Sims for Butler, and it's no oh. good. Abby led for the rebound. Now Abby led for going to take it up court. Finds Reagan New York. Well, at least it's off Butler. Referee about uh, that number 25. Uh, she shot the ball too far up under there. She should have released it on her with her left hand. She thinks she's trying to draw contact, get a foul. Started to worry about the local newspaper reporter Caleb Collins, the referee, about hitting him in the head there with the out of bounds call. 4:52 left, second period. Becca left it with the ball. Becca driving. Who? Off the top Very of the glass, athletic no move. Good. I thought he was going in. Sims finds That's Tarver long. for three. No good. Rebound, Abby Ledford. Abby Ledford pushing up court, looking up court. Abby takes oh, it that's herself. Oh, that's a foul. And that's going to be uh, Brianna Sims' second foul, yeah. too, Coach. they got three with two fouls, and they still had not Seems to me they don't have much of a bench <laughs> either. Because they haven't really subbed, they got three players with two fouls. Uh, we got 432 to left. Coach Chastain may know that. That may be why he is trying to tell the girls to take it to the basket and, and get them in foul trouble. As Abby Leffer makes the front end. Of them. And now they're making a sub here. Number 11 in for. 15 8, our score. Final four here in Blue Ridge. First ever final four here in Blue Ridge. Okay. We as Abby left. Got him doubled up right here now. 16 8. Six points there on the night for Abby Ledford. 16 to 8. Brianna Sims driving. And got her on the move there. I think it'll be on the floor. No, I think they're going to shoot two. Are they going to shoot her? That's going to be, that's Becca's second. And we are shooting two. So we, got, we can't have Becca in mm -hmm. foul trouble tonight, coach. And sometimes it's hard to tell a kid. To let somebody go because but she's more important on the floor than she is sitting over on the bench. So go with a chance of her missing the shot. <laughs> That's just the first ever point. I mean, excuse me, the first first point of the second quarter for uh, Butler and Brianna Sims. She makes the front end. Both shots are good. So Lee has cut the six. Fanning right County. now, it's looks like it's going to be a low-scoring game. Davis finds Abby. Abby gives it back to Courtney. Now I think uh, uh, Butler's gone into a 2-3 zone to help protect the uh, kids that's in foul trouble, so maybe that'll help us, but it's a very active 2-3 zone. Reagan York. Ooh. Turnover there. Tamia Jackson 
Levin didn't look like she wanted to handle that ball too good. Brianna Sims for three. Yeah. Rebound Thomas. And it's going to be on the floor. I believe they're going to get Sisson. With Sims there, number 25, I look uh, she, She's only been shooting like uh, in the low percentage for threes. I looked at their stats for all year long. Uh, oh, there's a push off. Got her. Good call for the ref there, number 25, Sims. Uh, push down on Johnson and, there. And, and Coach, more importantly, that's her third foul. Yeah. Uh, he's coming to me. He's coming to get her. 16 to 10, our score here in Blue Ridge. Almost a record crowd here tonight. Mm, Reagan York shot, no good. Sims playing with three fouls, Coach. Mm. Oh, I thought that was all ball. And we're going to have... As uh, number 20, Paris Little will go to the line. Paris Little misses the front end. And she makes the back end. 16 to 11, our score here is uh, Mackenzie Johnson brings the ball up for Fannin County. Courtney Davis to Reagan York. Reagan to Natalie in the corner. Natalie for three, no good. And Lauren Brady will knock it out of bounds. It'll be Fannin County Rebel basketball. Johnson inbounding for Fannin. Pass is stolen away by Butler. That's Paris Little. And that's a shot there by Brianna Sims playing with three fouls, and it's good. Sixteen and thirteen our score. Courtney Davis. Butler still in that two three zone. Natalie Thomas shot no good. Rebound Courtney Davis. Courtney trying to drive inside, loses loses control. And it'll be Butler basketball. We've had a little malfunction with Coach Farmer's mic. We will try to get that up and going as soon as possible. 2.35 left, second period. As Butler trying to make the run right here as Paris Little gets the rebound, and Paris Little scores. So now it's 16 to 15. 2.20 left in the second period. As Coach Farmer now is back on. Davis driving. Oh, nice, nice move. A good, good rebound, Sism. Sism back to York. York driving the lane. No good. Oh, no. They're going to get Sism with a foul, Coach, it hmm. looks like. I thought we was inside position on that. That's, that's a pretty tough call there. She was on the inside. That's her second team Paige Forsman and Becca Ledford both check in for the Rebels. Sixteen to fifteen, one fifty-five remaining second period. Got Johnson on uh, Sims now. Sims playing with three fouls. Brady running the point for Butler has ran it all night. She finds Paris Little for three. Paris Little shot no good. Becca Ledford rebound. That's good swapping Ledford off of Sims. I mean, she didn't get any more. Ledford finds Johnson. Johnson driving. Page finds Natalie Thomas. Shot no oh, good. Nice How rebound. How about Woo! Becca Ledford, coach? A place going crazy. Do you think Becca Ledford wants to win this game, hey. coach? And she went, hey, she got up. And that'll be Fannin County basketball. Very athletic rebound, then come in and uh, laid it up underneath. And she's a guard, come in offensive rebound now. That's, she can jump as high as anybody outside there on the floor. 18 to 15, our score. We are now under one minute left in the first half. Courtney Davis for three. Courtney Davis, shot no good. 
Oh, nice job. Oh, bodied up with her there. As long as she kept her hands up, I don't think they call the foul. Turn around. Get, get. She'll get a foul yeah. there. Though. Number of drive. That's a Tamaya Jackson's first foul. The Becca Leffert and Lauren Brady matchup has been fun to watch. Two very good aggressive players. As both teams now are in the bonus. Johnson with the basketball. 45 seconds remaining in our first half. 18 to 15. Our score rebels a trip to make it. Run an overload. Pass it down the corner to uh, uh, they're out there on it. Ooh. Oh, uh, oh, oh. Lee. Huh. Oh. That's a lot of contact for no, no foul there. No foul as Butler. Great defense there by Courtney Davis. And it'll be Fanny County. Oh, we got it. We got it. We got away with that. I, I, I thought uh, we did too, Coach. I thought it was off Johnson there. She pushed it out. Yeah. So we got it back there. You no, know, I'm very impressed, with, very impressed with Courtney Davis. I think she knew that Becca Leffer was knocked down. Yeah. May have been a foul, but she kept her composure and played great defense on this end. Running the overload again. 22 seconds remaining. Becca Take Leffer. Last second back. shot here, girls. You got the lead. Yeah, no need to give Butler an extra uh -huh. possession. Davis driving. Davis has a shot. Nice Ooh, pull up nah. there, Courtney Davis. Five seconds remaining, 20 to 15. This place is getting loud. Sims driving. She's got three fouls. Shot no good. And the Lady Rebel will go into halftime with a 20 to 15 lead. This place is going. I've never seen this place. Been nice if somebody to look step, step out and take a charge on her. <laughs> she went out of control pretty hard to the hole. That would have been Brianna uh, Sims' fourth foul. And uh, as you, we see, Coach, uh, I'm not sure if our cameras can do that, but Coach Ebony Fields is uh, having a word with the, uh, the official um, on the court. It's halftime. Uh, but Ebony Fields uh, is getting. Uh, is having a word with the officials. And now halftime will officially start as the referees are working on we'll walk off the clock. I think she was questioning the call where she's got that arm bar on her. She, uh, Georgia High School has always said they're going to call that, but I, a lot of times I don't think they ever did or do, but they kind of hand checked her out front, pushed her. So they let uh, they call that right there. I think that's what she's talking about. Coach, uh, first half thoughts here. Yeah, we got five point lead. Low scoring game, a lot of good defense. Um, We've got uh, Butler in a little bit in foul trouble here. As Sims has three, Slater has two, uh, Brady also has two. Uh, the Rebels, uh, Olivia Sisson and Becky Ledford do both have two fouls, so. That'd be fine going in the third quarter with two. I was, he helped protect them, even though he put Ledford back in. Uh, did a good job of switching them off somebody that's not as athletic. So our score here is 20 to 15 in the, as we have, as we have eight, about nine minutes left in halftime. We will take a quick break and we will be uh, right back. You're watching a uh, final four basketball here on ETC three and fan and rebel TV. Years of dedication, sacrifice, desire. It's all come down to this one moment, game day where only the strong survive and the warrior with the best barbecue sauce always wins. Shane's Rib Shack, where every day is game day. ETC knows the internet is evolving, taking new twists and turns as we add our input, make our choices, and follow the light that connects us all. It's quite a journey, one to experience with the fastest speeds available. Contact ETC. Connect to the internet speed that suits your journey. And enjoy the ride. I have 23 minutes to myself this week. And the $4.99 DQ chicken strip basket is the quality my meat time deserves. And by quality, I mean kicking back with a DQ classic all to myself. All white meat chicken strips, golden fries, Texas toast, and ranch. No distractions. Just a $4.99 DQ chicken strip basket and me. DQ. Happy tastes good. Most of us are in touch with the internet in one way or another all day long. A fast, secure connection matters. It keeps us entertained, informed, in touch. 
ETC cares about your connection. We know strong, reliable internet with your choice of speeds makes life better. If you need an upgrade or just have a question, get in touch. Call or visit etcnow.com today. Bill Holtz Chevrolet Blue Ridge is bringing you an endless summer of savings during the Chevy Open Road Sales Event. We've got the area's best selection of new Chevys with truckloads coming in daily and up to 15% off MSRP on our hottest models like the Equinox and Blazer. Keep more money in your pocket this month with up to 9,000 off new Silverado trucks. Plus get 0% APR financing for up to 72 months. When it comes to new trucks and SUVs, there's only one name you need to know. Bill Holt Blue Ridge. Get along. Around here, we like a slower pace, but we don't suffer with slow internet. ETC provides fiber-fast, reliable internet and Wi-Fi, backed by local customer service. From email checkers to video streamers to hardcore gamers, we've got speed options to please all kinds of folks. If you need an upgrade or just have a question, get in touch. We can't wait to help. ETC, the right internet connection right where we live. surprisingly great rates contact your local state farm agent today if you want the real deal call state farm agent chris wong in east lj today like a good neighbor state farm is there years of dedication sacrifice desire it's all come down to this one moment game day where only the strong survive, and the warrior with the best barbecue sauce always wins. Shane's Rib Shack, where every day is game day. ETC knows the internet is evolving, taking new twists and turns as we add our input, make our choices, and follow the light that connects us all. It's quite a journey, one to experience with the fastest speeds available. Contact ETC. Connect to the internet speed that suits your journey. And enjoy the ride. I have 23 minutes to myself this week. And the $4.99 DQ chicken strip basket is the quality my meat time deserves. And by quality, I mean kicking back with a DQ classic all to myself. All white meat chicken strips, golden fries, Texas toast, and ranch. No distractions. Just a $4.99 DQ chicken strip basket and me. DQ. Happy tastes good. Most of us are in touch with the internet in one way or another all day long. A fast, secure connection matters. It keeps us entertained, informed, in touch. ETC cares about your connection. We know strong, reliable internet with your choice of speeds makes life better. If you need an upgrade or just have a question, get in touch. Call or visit etcnow.com today. Bill Holtz Chevrolet Blue Ridge is bringing you an endless summer of savings during the Chevy Open Road Sales Event. We've got the area's best selection of new Chevys with truckloads coming in daily and up to 15% off MSRP on our hottest models like the Equinox and Blazer. Keep more money in your pocket this month with up to 9,000 off new Silverado trucks. Plus get 0% APR financing for up to 72 months. When it comes to new trucks and SUVs, there's only one name you need to know. Bill Holt Blue Ridge. Get along.
Around here, we like a slower pace, but we don't suffer with slow internet. ATC provides fiber fast, reliable internet and Wi Fi, backed by local customer service. From email checkers to video streamers to hardcore gamers, we've got speed options to please all kinds of folks. If you need an upgrade or just have a question, get in touch. We can't wait to help. ETC, the right internet connection right where we live. And we are back. Just uh, about one minute and 15 seconds to go before we start our third period. I'm Tim Tao, going by former Fannin County basketball coach, Hall of Famer, Johnny Farmer. Coaches, just, just looking around. Me and you both love Fannin County Rebels. It's just so good to see so many people here. Uh, 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 Fannin County, when I, when I coach, I always supported uh, uh, the teams well, traveled well. Sometimes we'd go away at different schools. We'd have more fans than the home team would have. And uh, always when we was in the Final Four and playing state championship games, some, uh, I mean, uh, we brought the crowd. This will be the uh, Bill Holt Chevrolet third quarter that we are. Uh, yeah, I just bought, bought a truck from them back in October, so I get give them a little, yeah, little gonna, high five, or maybe I'll cut my payments down a little absolutely. bit. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. What a time, Coach. Uh, Lady Rebels lead Butler Bulldogs 20 to 15. Trip to Macon on the line. Like we talked during half, neither team's shooting the ball well, but uh, we're playing great defense, get, uh, digging down, getting getting the ball when it's passed inside, making uh, 23 uh, throw it back out. Or she doesn't, puts it on the floor. We've got a couple jump balls with her. And, I mean, we've got their best uh, player offensive. She's got three fouls. As uh, Butler, Lauren Brady will inbound the basketball. And here we go. Second half, final four. Winner goes to make it. Butler, Fanning County. Oof. Lauren Brady, nice move to the basket, and it's good. Let's see what was, uh, Fanning was in there. I thought we shifted to a 2-3 right there. But. We'll be interested to see if we will see more of Lauren Brady trying to take it to the basket. 20-17, to 17, our score. Looks like... Uh, pick it up, pick it up, but good. Good save. Fanning County with their original starting five out right now on the floor is Abby Ledford. Oh, nice drive. move, Abby. Abby. I'm almost sure uh, uh, Butler they went into one three one. She jumped out there in the corner on Abby. Oh gosh, bank shot from the. Oh, I don't know if the bank's still open over at Ingles, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's over at United Community <laughs> Bank either, but yeah. it is. It is yeah. right now. 22-19. Our score is Slater scores there for Butler. Yeah. York. Yeah, Butler's in a 1-3-1 one, one right now. Changing up defense, see if they can. So, oh. Becca Ledford, McKenzie Johnson, Olivia Sisson, Reagan York, and Abby Ledford. The starting five Three is also points. in now. Oh. As Becca wow. Ledford. That was a good play where they threw it on the baseline and uh, uh, cross-courted it back to uh, Becca Ledford for boom, back to back threes. As that is Tarver. Great shot by Becca Leppard and a great shot by Tarver. It's 25-22. As uh, Coach, you, you, you said during halftime, the nerves are out now. Now both teams are going to start settle in. You're going to see more shots being took. I always like to uh, attack a 1-3-1 uh, one, one with a two-guard set out front. Uh, you go even or odd. If it's a 2-3, I put one out front. If it's a... Uh, a one uh, one guard front, then I put uh, I mean a one guard defensive front, then I put two guards up. So, so if they rotate the guard back up, yeah, here it comes. Running overload still. Abby drives, blocked by Thomas. What it takes, you got to keep taking that though. That's a that was a good, that was a good move. Shayla Thomas with the block for Butler. Brianna Ooh. Sims drives and Brianna mm. Sims scores. So it's 25-24. Butler cuts the lead to one. Reagan York with the basketball. She finds Becca Ledford. What are the Rebels trying to do here on offense, Coach? Well, now they went back to a 2-3, so they just look at the 23, uh, good out. She's uh, blocked the last two shots down the floor. 
posting up inside, but they hadn't seen her yet. As Thomas tries to take their great defense there by yep. Sisson, <coughs> gets the block and the rebound. Becca Ledford with the basketball. Becca Ledford, no foul call. Uh -huh. McKenzie and Becca. Becca Ledford for three got, again. She got a touch. She got partially blocked there. As Jayla Thomas with the rebound, and Lauren Brady has a chance Looks with like the basketball the to get Butler to lead. Hollering out four, one of their offensive sets. Paris Little with the basketball. She finds Sims. Ball almost goes out of bounds. But Sims kind of it. in a sagging man to man. Nice Looks pass nice block. There. Nice pass from Brady to uh, Sims, but Becca Ledford comes on the back side and gets the block. <laughs> She needs to be careful, though. That'd been her third foul. We subbed in number 11. 21, Jamisha 20. Slater checking in for Butler. Nice, nice deflection. Oh, I thought we might have a jump ball out of that with the call of foul instead. I think we're going to. I think uh, we may get a jump ball. Nope. Foul, foul over Ruth's jump, so. So that'll be Sisson's third, Coach. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kind of just like last Tuesday, Sisson gets in somewhat of foul trouble. A person we definitely do not want in foul trouble. They went and looked, checked it over, and I'm sure that's what they said. I got a foul. I got a jump. So foul over Ruse's jump ball. Now yeah, here comes Forsman, man. Paris Little's front mm -hmm. end of the free throw is no good. As Forsman will check in for Sisson. Paris Little to the line, with a chance to tie the game for Butler. Two-handed shot from the foul line. <laughs> As Little ties the ball game. So 25 all, third period. <laughs> Becca Leopard with the basketball. Got York flashing in the middle. They got out of that 1-3-1 pretty quick. Back in 2-3. Kenzie Johnson driving. Ooh. Had it got through, it threw a bounce pass, but uh, she stuck out a hand there, number 20 did, and got a steal. Paris Little driving, and Ugh. they're going to call another foul on the Rebels. They're, I'm not sure she was shooting, but they're going to call it a shooting foul. She was in the act of it, but uh, starting to get ready. Watch them warm up and they do. They uh, get, Once they get the ball in the middle, they either do a left-handed kind of hook or right-handed kind of hook out of it. And that fouls on Abby. That's her first. It's Courtney Davis and Natalie Thomas check in for the Rebels, giving Johnson and Ledford a break. 25 all third period, a trip to Macon, Georgia on the line for the GHSA state championship. Shot as good as Paris Little. Gives Butler the lead. 26-25. Reagan York with the basketball. Reagan York driving. She finds Becca Lefford in the corner. Becca gives it to Courtney. Courtney three Davis up. for three. No Oof. good. Rebound Jayla mm. Thomas for Butler. Good look. We got a good look then. Davis got squared up. Lauren Brady with the basketball. Lauren Brady for three, and it's good. So Butler going on a pretty good run right here as they take a 29-25 lead. Davis bringing the ball up the court for Fannin. Davis getting it to York. Reagan York drives. Tries to get inside the Forsman. No good. And here comes Brianna Sims for Butler. Looking to take a charge. Lauren Brady now driving the lane. She shoots, no good. Rebound back to Ledford for Fanny. I thought that's close to a walk when she took down a, I thought she stuttered her feet there when she took out a goal back. Ooh. Back to Ledford, shot no good. Blocked out of bounds there by Jayla Thomas. So Butler going on a pretty good run here as they have took the lead and now lead by four. They two, three and out of, out of bounds there. Courtney inbounds to Becca. Natalie to Reagan. Shot again, blocked by Thomas. But Paige Forsman tries to go up strong. No good. Rebound as Lauren Brady gets in there. Hard to get the ball over 23 there. She's just... Lauren Brady for three. Guarded by Courtney Davis. Short, no good. Let it go. There we go. Good smart play. Back. 
will be Fanning County basketball. So Coach Chastine letting the girls play through it here. 29-25. One, one three, we're right back in it. Beckett and Natalie. Natalie no look past the Reagan back to that well, shot, no good. Got it partially blocked there. Eh? They're pretty quick. They get out by four. Hey, they've got uh, film on them, knowing that we got outside shooters and they're stepping up. We may have to do a pump fake, drive around them a step or two, because they're going for their uh, first first shot. Good, good backside rebound by Becca. Becca now driving. Becca Ledford shot blocked and out of bounds. It'll be Fannin County basketball. Two ten remaining, third period. I would say a capacity crowd here in Blue Ridge, Coach. Yes. When I was coaching, I don't think we had all this many people in here. <laughs> it's we're all the way atop the uh, rail up there. That's where I normally stand up there with a few of my friends. I up see there. him up there. Yeah, Steve Taylor, Chuck Patterson, uh, C.J. Green, and uh, Bill Prather. Courtney Davis to Becca Ledford for nice three. Nice look at, ooh, I thought that was in. Had a good nice look. Nice rebound. How about Reagan fighting for it? Reagan, oh, you're a nice, nice shot. Went, right, went, took it right into number 23 there, and she just went up and over. Great job by Reagan to go score. 29-27 our score. Paris Little with the basketball. Lauren Brady. Lauren Brady dishes it off to Jackson. Jackson for three, no good. The rebound, Jayla Thomas. There will be a jump ball and the possession arrow will go to the Lady Rebels. We've got a chance to tie it up or go ahead here with Ebony the Fields, 31. Ebony Fields pleading for a foul right there on Paige Forsman, uh, but there was no call. 125 remaining third period. Davis driving. Reagan York thought about the three. She finds Natalie. Natalie to Becca. Becca yeah, for three, right. and it's good, and a timeout for the Lady Rebels as the Lady Rebels regain the lead, and this place is going crazy. What a shot there by Becca Ledford to give the, the Lady Rebels the lead once again, 30 to 29. Our third lead change of the night. Good arch on that ball. It looked good. You know, you can, sitting over here, you can kind of see if the ball's on line or whatever. And uh, that was cross court over next to their bench. Got a good arch to it. Beck is 11th point of the night. Roof out came off this place, coach. 30 who, to 29. A who called timeout? We uh, called Coach Chastain did. Coach Chastain took a timeout. So <clears> minute 12, <throat> third period, 30 to 29. Standing back in uh, man to man. Lauren Brady still running the point. Nice pass inside there to Jayla Thomas for two points. As Butler now gets the lead. She turned and put it, put it on, and they putting it on the floor and scored. Our fourth lead change of the night. Butler now leads 31-30. 45 seconds remaining. Courtney Davis up and over, no good. Rebound Lauren Brady and Butler. There's another little guard at rebounding well. She is Butler was, stepped out of bounds. Yep. 33.3 seconds remaining. Butler leading 31 to 30. The winner goes to the state championship. Reagan York with the ball, gives it to Natalie. Natalie to Reagan. Reagan to Becca. Becca thought about it. Gives it to Courtney. Courtney steps back. Three. Bang! Bang. Good! Courtney Davis for three. And our fifth lead change tonight gives the Rebels the lead. Paris Hill to Lauren Brady. Fast, uh, and the shot is, they not get the not. shot off. And the Lady Rebels come storming back to take the lead, 33-31. This crowd, I don't think there's anybody sitting down. Courtney Davis, the freshman. See, uh, Fannin scored 13 that quarter, and let's see, they had 15, so they's, uh, they got 16 then, didn't they? 
Yes, they did. They had 16 okay. points. So a 16-point third okay. quarter for Butler, a 13-point third quarter for Fannin County. As a longtime supporter of Fannin County Athletics, Donald Shockley has spotted something on the court, and the officials were taking care of it. Our fourth quarter is sponsored by State Farm. Uh, Got anything with them, Coach? Uh, uh, gummy bears? State Farm. <laughs> oh, State Farm. Hey, that's who I got my insurance with. Every, everything I got, uh, cars, boats, RVs, they've always done a tremendous job. 33-31, fourth quarter, a trip to Macon in the state championship on the line. I always deal with Kerry there at State Farm. She's taking care of me for several years. Right, good double team out front. Barn Brady. Gives it to Sims. Nice. Sims for three. No good, but Taylor right. Thomas with the rebound on the, the back side. Almost looks like a set play. 33 yeah. all. Abby Ledford with the basketball. Oh! And stolen away by Paris Little. Becca Ledford, though, gets a hand on it and gets the basketball. Oh. And Paris Little will be called for a foul. And man, the place is just going crazy right now. Rebecca, she's just as quick as uh, they are. Okay? She outrun uh, run her for the ball. Becca Leffer wants this, Coach. Courtney Davis with the basketball. In the corner to Thomas. Thomas to Ledford. Abby Ledford to Becca, and then Becca gives it to Courtney. Courtney picks up a dribble. Abby Leffert now driving back to Courtney. Good ball movement by the Rebels. Courtney Davis floater. Ooh. No good. Rebound Sims for Butler. Ah. Yeah, coach is over there telling her to calm down, calm down. It wasn't very good. Uh, she waited too late to pass the kid and about knocked her head off with it when she threw it. Mm. it 6.50 left, fourth quarter, 33 all. A ball game like this, every possession is uh, so important. You can't turn it over. You need at least a shot. That guy almost time. had a look there. Oh. Abby Leppard's called for a traveling violation. I didn't see that, but I wasn't really focused. I was waiting for the ball came where it left from. But. Six thirty left, fourth quarter. Shot there for Butler. Jackson, no good rebound. Excuse me, that was Slater. Slater now drives, shot no good. Oh, ball no, box shot. Out. no good, Slater. Oh. Slater again gets her own rebound and gets the lead for Very Butler. athletic minute. I can't, uh, that look like a boy move. You jump midair and try to tip it in. Becca Ledford driving, Becca Ledford shot. Get in there. And good. <laughs> Good roll on that off there. You get it above the rim, good things happen. Lauren Brady gives it off. Uh -huh. No oh, good. Yeah. And that's going to be Fannin County basketball. As the coaches from Butler did not like to call. Reagan York checking in for Natalie Thomas for the Rebels. 35 all, fourth quarter, 545 remaining. Final four here in Blue Ridge. First ever one hosted here. I'm sure we get a good look, at least a decent shot every time down the floor. In fact, an offensive rebound. Becca cross court pack to Abby. Abby works inside to Olivia. Olivia finds Becca for three. Nice no oh. good rebound, Jayla Thomas. Here comes Sims down the court. Looking and she's going to be called for a travel violation. And we've got a technical foul, I believe, called. No, or, or a, a, a bench warning. A bench warning. You know, just previously, the previous possession, we had three coaches standing up yelling. And uh, now they're, they're going to put a bench warning on uh, Butler. So back-to-back -back possessions, you're hearing some... Um, Arguments out of Butler's bench and Ebony Fields now still forcing her displeasure with the referee. Yeah, it's only the head coach can stand up. 
35 all, 5-10 remaining, fourth quarter. What a basketball game we have here in Blue Ridge. Winner goes to make it. Tony Davis finds Reagan York. Reagan York inside the McKenzie Johnson, and that will be a foul. Well, that will be on Paris Little, coach. I believe that's her third. No, they're going home Slater. I thought it was on Little. So McKenzie Johnson line with two important free throws here. Get in there. Makes the front end, gives the Rebels the lead, 36-35. How about both of them, Coach? I'll take it. And Coach Chastain's going to call a timeout. No, excuse me. Uh, Ebony Fields called a timeout. Right. I think both of them are actually looking to call a timeout, and they grant it. No, they grant it to Coach Chastain. So 30-second timeout <clears throat> for Fanning County. We're going to try to calm our players down a little bit, I'd say. Get back in. Coach, how, how, do, how do the players control their emotions in a big game like this? Well, you, you know, you... Uh, You've got to because, uh, you know, if a kid usually catch the second one and reacts, and then in a big game like this, they got ejected, you'll be setting out in the next game, the state championship game. So, uh, I used to say mine, if you get, got pretty physical, hey, you just play through it, show no emotion. Because uh, if you react to it, uh, it could cost you a game. All right, looks like Fannin's going to full court press here. Probably just uh Brianna Sims inbound to Lauren Brady. Lauren Brady being chased by Mackenzie Johnson. Mackenzie Johnson trying to stick with her. Lauren Brady drives. Lauren Brady scores. So Lauren Brady and Butler tie the ball game as Lauren Brady goes coast to coast. 37 all. 440 left. Running the overload again. Nice Ooh. pass there by Reagan York to Johnson. She Ooh. tries to find Ledford. And they give it to uh, uh, Butler. Butler over there. Must have went off of uh, Becca's hands. But it, uh, Johnson left her feet and then tried to find somebody to pass there. A lot of times that's when you get in trouble. As we're seeing a replay here in your living room, I'm not sure about that one. Butler with the basketball, 425. And nice there, defense there by Olivia Sisson with a big block. Fannin County now with the basketball. Becca Ledford to Courtney. Courtney back to Becca. Got to get your spacing down here, girls. You're too close together there. Going to run the overload again. Courtney Davis, Davis. for three. Ooh. No good, but rebound Reagan York. Ah. And that one's good, Coach. And gives the Rebels another lead, 39-37. Lauren Brady with the basketball for Butler. Oh, that's a walk. She gives the Slater guy. If they're going to call this yeah. one, they better call that. That was way out she took off. Uh, yeah, that, they're going to call that one. That, that was less of a walk than that other one she took off. They, I think he just thought he missed it, and he got, he got that one back. 39-37, a trip to Macon for the first time since 2004 is on the line for the Rebels. Thirty-nine, thirty-seven. Courtney Davis again for three. Ooh. Good look, but no good. They're going to get Got Becca back with a foul. Back. That's her third, Coach. That's yeah. going to be Becca's third. We're all right with three twenty-eight there with uh, three. She's uh, and a timeout um, called by Butler. Uh, so let me ask you this, Coach. So we only have one team foul now. So do you like? For example, we may have to, there may come a point where you have to start fouling on teams, purpose. Yeah, both teams will yeah. have to foul on purpose. That's something to keep an eye on. Because uh, I've watched a lot of them. It seems like the coaches seem like they forget that. Yeah. But uh, you know, you got in the game as you're down, uh, you got the foul to get and get make them get in that one and one to stop the clock so you can uh, uh, have a chance to get back in the game. Uh, Butler, just worth noting, has two team fouls. Fanning County has one team foul. 39-37, Fannin County leads. 3.28 left in the fourth quarter. You know, this rule, I'll probably be telling my kids, hey, you just got one foul. Hey, you anticipate something you think you can make still, go for it for foul. Hey, that's just number two foul, three foul, four. You're still good. I'd, uh, I'd, 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 I'd tighten up the defense. As the student section arises, 
39-37, 3.27 left, fourth quarter. Capacity crowd here in Blue Ridge. That's good. Got, uh, got some fans behind us here holding up some fan and uh, yeah, Coach Dick Pitt and his family, yeah, offensive yeah. coordinator here at the yeah. high school. Yeah. Slater, pull up. Short. Ooh. Reagan York rebound. So here come the, the fan and county lady rebels. Mm. Becca Ledford with the basketball. Ledford to Johnson. Johnson to York at the top. Somebody's got a flash high there and then release, I think, and then they could kick it back out. David spotting up in the corner, but now they. Oh, she got it for a while. You get Reagan York with the traveling yeah. violation. Two fifty-five, fourth quarter, final four. Slater gives it to Thomas. Thomas, good. So Jayla Thomas ties the ball game. They've gone away from her. They hadn't last first time she's touched the ball, and I don't know why. She's, I'd say she's the leading scorer for them. That is Thomas's tenth point of the night. Becca tosses it over to Courtney. Reagan York in the corner. Oh, Reagan deep. York. Rebound now Mackenzie it. Johnson. We got a oh Davis little. fell on the ground. No, no foul called there. Courtney Davis with the basketball. To Johnson. Get the Johnson. hand check off of him there. Two, two ten remaining. Fourth quarter, 39 all. Be patient. Be patient till you get something that you uh, gotta look at. Nice pass ah. there to Johnson. This is unable to corral it, but it will be still Fannin County basketball underneath. Two minutes to go, 39 off. They're going to zone it out of bounds. Ooh. Courtney Davis blocked by Jayla Thomas. She would have went ahead and shot it. She would have got it off. Uh, there's another block for 23. I bet she's got six, seven, eight blocks tonight. That's Olivia's fourth, fourth foul. <laughs> Team second. So worth noting that Olivia Sisson does have four fouls. Fan is primary post player. 39 all, fourth quarter. Lauren Brady for three for Butler. Come out Rebound. Rebound Reagan York. Reagan York. A minute 40, and this crowd has rose to its feet. Courtney Davis in the corner for three. No good. Reagan York fighting for the rebound. That will be corralled by Butler. Butler's Brianna Sims driving. Sims with the basketball. As with timeout will be called by Butler. Ooh. Down to the wire. What a ball game. 39 all. One minute, 23 seconds remain. The winner of this game goes to the state championship to play Josie as Josie uh, beat Washington County last night. You know what the score was last night? I, I do not. I think it was close, but I, I do not know the score. Uh, pardon me for not having that information. Both of them's got good programs. We played Washington County in the state tournament two or three times. Played in the first round one time. They ended up winning the state. And uh, a couple times back after I played that, then uh, we, we beat them. But uh, very rich programs down there because uh, they're, they're off of I-22, I think, somewhere. Good Down tradition. Sanders, right Sandersville. And this crowd has risen to their feet. Lauren Brady with the basketball, 120 to go. Guarded by Courtney Davis. Courtney Davis trying to hang with it. Lauren Brady throws up one, and it's a late foul, and I believe that's going to be on Sism. That is going to be Olivia Sism's fifth foul. Man, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Davis went out and played her too much. Got it in. Davis, I mean, uh, Sism tried to come over and. Help off, but I don't guess it's No, it it's not on season. No. I apologize. They're going to call it on York. 39 all, 115 left. Lauren Brady at the free throw line shooting two. She misses two. the front end. We've got a box out here. Coaches over there hollering, make sure we box out. Lauren Brady makes the back end and takes the lead for Butler. That's our seventh lead change of the night. Butler leads 40 to 39. 110 remaining. Courtney Davis with the basketball. Reagan York driving. Reagan York, good. 
Lady Dior gives the Rebels the lead. With one minute. Right under a minute, 41 to 40. Lauren Brady with the basketball. Brianna Sims now with the basketball. She drives. Oh, lost it on her. Oh, could not come up with it. Olivia tried to get it. Good effort. Her and Sims collided, and we lose the ball out of bounds. It'll be Butler basketball, 49.5 seconds, 41 to 40. Colin timeout. And, a, and probably a good timeout called by Coach Chastain here. Oh, man, what, what a basketball game, Coach. That's a good drive by Reagan. Uh, she took it right at him. A good Howard shot up over the number 23 there that's had several blocks tonight. Uh, she's got one of the prettiest... Uh, Releases. I mean, she's got a real high arc shot, which I always feel like it gives a better chance for the ball to go in the hole. Daughter, uh, her mom played for you, Coach. Oh, yeah, very, very good ball player. Uh, let me win a state championship with a left-handed point guard. Uh, As the crowd are up to their feet again, coming out of the timeout, 46 seconds remaining. You couldn't take the ball away from her. Uh, Gaines will try to press it several times. And, uh, she's got a half spin reverse. Coach, I don't know if Fannin uh, County's been this loud since, since you played Gainesville. Yeah. Back in those days, this place is rocking. 41 to 40. Rebels lead, 49.5 seconds. Brianna Sims. She's going up with it. Taylor Thomas with the rebound. Lauren Brady with the basketball for Butler. Butler, Lauren Brady drives. And there'll be a foul called on Mackenzie Johnson. Try to take a charge there. It's, it gets so much traffic in there, I can't really see. So. But uh, number uh, number one, number it was her. Mackenzie She's Johnson, penetrated so well. So Brady to the line, shooting two. I don't know if I wouldn't take a time out there to freeze it. She misses the first one. Especially right now, since he missed the first, and I'd, I'd call time out, maybe she'd make a better think about it a while. 39.6 seconds remaining, 41 to 40. Brady mm. makes the second one, and we oh. are tied. 41 on, 38 seconds remaining. Trip to making on the line. Becca Ledford guarded by Lauren Brady. She gives it to Courtney Davis in a timeout, a full timeout right. called by Coach Chastain. So you've got four fouls, two fouls. So the foul situation here at the time is not going to come into play. All right, so what do you do now if you're Fanning <laughs> County, Coach? Do you play for the last shot? Do you try to get something quick right here? Nah, I don't, if something developed, but against the zone, it's going to be hard. I'd probably pass it around. Let's try to take a shot with about uh, uh, four or five seconds left, try to rebound it. If you foul, what's the big deal? I mean, they get the ball back, but I don't want them to have enough time to go back down the floor to get a decent shot. You shoot it with about four, you're going to be, you know, three, two, time they rebound it, and you might, might put it back up. But they're not going to leave them a chance to come all the way down, down 27. the floor. 27.2 so. seconds. I see uh, one of Fanning County, two of Fanning County's best football players returning case, and Owens being Seth Reese trying to get the crowd into it. 29.5. Reagan York with the basketball. Be patient. Be patient. Becca Ledford with That's the ball. Well, I think it looks like we're setting up to take a last shot. Becca oh, Ledford for three. You? That's short. No good. No oh. rebound by Butler. Brianna Sims. There's oh, nobody no. down here. Mackenzie Johnson. Ball will be Butler basketball. Man. Coming right into your living room. Nine seconds remaining. 41 off, and there'll be a timeout called by Butler. So now <laughs> Butler will probably play for the last shot. Do you think they work it inside the Thomas? Uh, do, do they take an outside shot? I think they'll try to penetrate. I would say they'd take the last shot, and I can sort of go into overtime, but uh, you don't know here with, you know, dealing with the young teenage kids. Uh, you can't foul them in the act of shooting. But they'll be on the line. 41 seconds remaining. There is not one person in this gym sitting down. Maybe the people in front of us. They're on the front row. Uh, and, that, uh, and us. That's and and me and you. And, and Ryan Holloway and Seabolt. Uh, but here we go. Nine seconds remaining. 
Butler fanning tied at 41, a trip to make it on the line. They're stacking it up. Sims inbounding to Brady. She tosses it out. Brady drives guarded by Davis. Brady stolen by Courtney Davis. Three seconds. Courtney Davis to Becca Lampert. And it's good. Fanning Kelly wins. Fanning Kelly wins. Oh, my At God. The buzzer. Donald Shockley's on the floor. Fanning Kelly. Becca Lampert, are you kidding me? We have won at the buzzer. Fanning Kelly has right. won the game. At the buzzer, baby. Fanning Kelly wins. Courtney Davis with the steal. She gives it to Becca Ledford. The Lady Rebels are going to the state championship, Coach, Man. for the first time since 2004. Buzzer beater, baby. Are you kidding me? Folks, Lauren Brady is injured on the floor. Lauren Brady, what a basketball game she has played for Butler. I hope everybody gives her a standing ovation. This, this, this lady has played her heart out when she gets up. And Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a nice hand. Lauren Brady, what a basketball game. She got hurt on the last play. Coach Edward, we're on the camera here. Uh, a great job. But Eric. the Lady Rebels, there's a celebration. A little, Holy uh, cow, we're going to make him, Coach. The little Davis girl. Uh, picked her pocket there. She had a bad dribble in the uh, Becca Ledford drive, uh, just splashing down the right hand side of the floor. And uh, they, Courtney Davis uh, seen her with a lob and she laid it up on the back side over on the left. And ball hit the rim and uh, goes through the net and the buzzer goes off. So Unbelievable. What what a basketball game is. I think we're waiting for the Lady Rebels maybe to come back out as Lauren Brady exits the floor. What a basketball game. She played her heart out. Yeah, uh, and, and here and Chris Seabolt. The celebration begins, coach. We're going back to the final four for the first time since 2004. Unbelievable. This is amazing. I think Megan Queen's going to get him. I think this, I think nobody is leaving as we're seeing a replay on camera. Courtney Davis with the steal. She's on the move too. We need to get a couple of the players on that. Yeah, we'll, we'll get some. We'll, we'll get somebody. Bring coach. back some old memories. There. I used to get some of our players on that old radio, right? WPPL or WLSB. But coach, we we're going to make it. Yeah, go on. We're going to make it. So you think we play Thursday at uh, 12 o'clock? I do. I think I think nobody is leaving. This is what is amazing. This crowd is not leaving. <laughs> they want to see yeah. these Lady Rebels to come out, and I hope they do. And I think somebody, the student section is still going crazy. They're going to make it. We're going to make it. And I forgot to say. It'd be aw awesome to. Get us a, a support bus to head down for the student body. This is this is just unbelievable. They could uh, take a support bus all the way down to Macon, get them, charge them a little money, and get them a school bus. So uh, I think the girls need to come back out. Somebody needs to get them come back on the floor. Ain't nobody leaving. Now they're starting to leave. Girls need to come on out. I don't know what they're going. We're going. We're going to get Coach Chastain for a post-game interview. Okay. Stole the ball. A had a good sense. Co Coach Farmer had, talking with uh, a, a few people here. Just unbelievable the scene here. And here come the Lady Rebels, Coach. Here they are. The Lady Rebels are back on the court. How about them? They're going to Macon. I wish we'd get a camera on there. There they are. There's Donald Shockley in the back, Dr. Ramsey in the back. They're going to make him too. We can to get Becca Ledford on the on the on the live here and let her see uh, what she thought when she was uh, Courtney huh? Davis passed her the ball in a dead run. And she goes up on the on the replay. I looked. She is on the move, fading out of bounds. When she come down after a floor, she is out of bounds. So, so she made a great athletic move to gather herself and to get up under there. State finals. State finals. 12 o'clock. 
on Thursday. So 12 o'clock, if you're listening and you're from Blue Ridge, you have plans. And that is to be at Macon. 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock on Thursday. On March 11th. What a celebration. Holy cow. I'd like everybody to stick around, and this crowd is still deafening. Unbelievable. I need a Tylenol, Coach. You got one? I haven't no, got any. I'm going to try to get up out of this seat here and try to get down there and get Ryan's all right, ass down all right, we're going to We're going to take, uh, take a quick commercial break, and we will have Coach Chastain on, the, on for a post-game interview. But stick around with us for a post-game interview. Your surprisingly great rates? Contact your local State Farm agent today. If you want the real deal, call State Farm agent Chris Wong in East LJ today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Years of dedication, sacrifice, desire. It's all come down to this one moment, game day where only the strong survive, and the warrior with the best barbecue sauce always wins. Shane's Rib Shack, where every day is game day. ETC knows the internet is evolving, taking new twists and turns as we add our input, make our choices, and follow the light that connects us all. It's quite a journey, one to experience with the fastest speeds available. Contact ETC. Connect to the internet speed that suits your journey. And enjoy the ride. I have 23 minutes to myself this week. And the $4.99 DQ chicken strip basket is the quality my meat time deserves. And by quality, I mean kicking back with a DQ classic all to myself. All white meat chicken strips, golden fries, Texas toast, and ranch. No distractions. Just a $4.99 DQ chicken strip basket and me. DQ. Happy tastes good. Most of us are in touch with the internet in one way or another all day long. A fast, secure connection matters. It keeps us entertained, informed, in touch. ETC cares about your connection. We know strong, reliable internet with your choice of speeds makes life better. If you need an upgrade or just have a question, get in touch. Call or visit etcnow.com today. Bill Holtz Chevrolet Blue Ridge is bringing you an endless summer of savings during the Chevy Open Road Sales Event. We've got the area's best selection of new Chevys with truckloads coming in daily and up to 15% off MSRP on our hottest models like the Equinox and Blazer. Keep more money in your pocket this month with up to 9,000 off new Silverado trucks. Plus get 0% APR financing for up to 72 months. When it comes to new trucks and SUVs, there's only one name you need to know. Bill Holt Blue Ridge. Get along. Around here, we like a slower pace, but we don't suffer with slow internet. ETC provides fiber-fast, reliable internet and Wi-Fi, backed by local customer service. From email checkers to video streamers to hardcore gamers, we've got speed options to please all kinds of folks. If you need an upgrade or just have a question, get in touch. We can't wait to help. ETC, the right internet connection right where we live.
your surprisingly great rates, contact your local State Farm agent today. If you want the real deal, call State Farm agent Chris Wong in East LJ today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Years of dedication, sacrifice, desire. It's all come down to this one moment, game day, where only the strong survive and the warrior with the best barbecue sauce always wins. Shane's Rib Shack, where every day is game day. ETC knows. The internet is evolving, taking new twists and turns. As we add our input, make our choices, and follow the light that connects us all, it's quite a journey, one to experience with the fastest speeds available. Contact ETC. Connect to the internet speed that suits your journey. And enjoy the ride. I have 23 minutes to myself this week. And the 4.99 DQ chicken strip basket is the quality my meat time deserves. And by quality, I mean kicking back with a DQ classic all to myself. All white meat chicken strips, golden fries, Texas toast, and ranch. No distractions. Just a 4.99 DQ chicken strip basket and me. DQ, happy tastes good. Most of us are in touch with the internet in one way or another all day long. A fast, secure connection matters. It keeps us entertained, informed, in touch. ETC cares about your connection. We know strong, reliable internet with your choice of speeds makes life better. If you need an upgrade or just have a question, get in touch. Call or visit etcnow.com today. Bill Holtz Chevrolet Blue Ridge is bringing you an endless summer of savings during the Chevy Open Road Sales Event. We've got the area's best selection of new Chevys with truckloads coming in daily and up to 15% off MSRP on our hottest models like the Equinox and Blazer. Keep more money in your pocket this month with up to 9,000 off new Silverado trucks. Plus get 0% APR financing for up to 72 months. When it comes to new trucks and SUVs, there's only one name you need to know. Bill Holtz Blue Ridge. Get along. Around here, we like a slower pace, but we don't suffer with slow internet. ETC provides fiber fast, reliable internet and Wi Fi, backed by local customer service. From email checkers to video streamers to hardcore gamers, we've got speed options to please all kinds of folks. If you need an upgrade or just have a question, get in touch. We can't wait to help. ETC, the right internet connection right where we live. surprisingly great rates contact your local state farm agent today if you want the real deal call state farm agent chris wong in east lj today like a good neighbor state farm is there all right we are live now tim Tao here with uh, coach farmer and coach chastine with post game interview courtney davis with the steel to Becca Ledford, yeah, place goes play. crazy. It was pretty, uh, close, like you said. That was, <laughs> just, that just, was up and over. just unbelievable. Pandemonium, uh, Coach Chastain, and, and here we are live. Uh, wow, I, I don't even know what to say to you, Coach. <laughs> We're going to make it. I know that. What a game. Well, what, you know, take it away. We went into post game, and I tried to sit in my office. I'd been in there, and finally, Coach Farmer said, "Hey, man, are you you coming out? We want to get you on the air." But I was trying to decide what I was going to say to the kids, and, and uh, I know this is going to sound, I told them, I said, this is going to sound corny, but all I can think about is the old Houston Rockets coach that when they won the NBA Finals, 
He said never underestimate the heart of a champion. Guys, we didn't play well tonight. Mm -hmm. All right, well, neither but, team really <laughs> shot the ball well, but I, I, you, yeah, sometimes you just have to gut through uh, 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 games because you didn't, you know, told somebody you can always play defense. Sometimes your yeah. offense is not as, uh, that's not a, you know, I didn't see none of them's heads uh, uh, down. They, just, they played through it, and get, you know, gut check. It was one of them games that could have went either way, and luckily it went uh, <laughs> went our way because I've yeah. uh, I've been in a lot of them that uh, I've ended up on the other side. But uh, it's one you'll remember uh, that uh, go a long ways for you. Yeah, we just you know it, it was exactly what y'all were talking about. We could we felt like we couldn't make any shots, so we got to a place there at the end. I just went small because I felt like penetration was hurting yeah. us. We left our five on the floor and we went with speed at the four guard spots to guard and boy. It, what, it didn't really it didn't really show through to the very last play <laughs> and uh, 25 man she was a good player she come up oh, she yeah. handled that thing and Davis Davis just took it from her and Becca was gone she looked like a NFL wide receiver running the fly route baby and she yeah. hit her on stride laid it in and <laughs> he's we're going the, to make it he's right on the we're, we're, he's on the move catch like a football into the end <laughs> zone son she she did an athletic move because she was carrying herself far to the left and she jumped and uh, went out and put it in and then uh, uh, I think she stepped out of bounds after she released the ball. She was going that hard. Yeah. <clears throat> By far, I think she is the uh, highest jumper out there on the floor. I've seen her Man. grab one rebound underneath. I mean, she got up. Uh, She's unbelievable. Yeah, she can uh, she can jump very well. Her outside shots coming around a little bit. I uh, see, but if she works on that in the off scene, son, she'd be hard to uh, hard to hard to work with. But we're going to make it for the first time since. You had them in 2004. I've seen it, yeah, since It doesn't seem like that long, but it's been a while, ain't it? Uh, so, uh, that I've been out. We didn't. Uh, we didn't win it that year. We had to play uh, the old games from <laughs> high school that uh, with Tasha Humphreys there. We'd play them three and four times a year, and uh, it's hard to beat her. You know, this was kind of a. As I kind of can start collecting my thoughts after the the pandemonium of the evening, uh, you know we. We haven't lost since the calendar turned to 2021. Wow. We got beat right before Christmas, or right right after Christmas by Raven. We were playing a lot of zone yeah. before Christmas. And we just we stopped right there and we said, you know what, if we want to be good enough to make a deep run in the playoffs, then we're going to have to be able to go out and guard people hard. And I just, it's kind of it's kind of poetic that that's what got us no, right here at the end. Defense what won y'all this game. I said, hey, yeah. hey guys, these, these studs are coming out of the locker room. So I'm going to let you talk to the people that won the game. Okay, okay hey. 17 game win streak for the Rebel. There's Coach Chastain. All right, we're now here with uh, Courtney Davis and Becca Ledford. Guys, take us through the final play. Courtney, you've got the steal, yes, Becca. You got, right, you got here, right, there on the right, right here on the bucket. Right here on the bucket. Right here. Look like a touchdown pass. I don't. So, uh, I don't even know. Right. No, just, just rack it, play ball, and let it happen. No, yeah. I'm lost for words. I, I locked it and I looked at her and I seen her dribble out and I stole it and I took two dribbles and I looked yeah. up and just chunked it right here. I felt like she's she on a dead sprint. I was sitting right here, Rebecca, baby. She, she seen it, so I had a chance. She fired down that right lane down here, crossed over and put it up. And then the time it hit off the glass, I think the uh, buzzer went off. I mean, it's, a, it's amazing that, uh, that you know, uh, y'all have uh, accomplished a lot this year and uh, uh, you got one more to go. Uh, there'll be a lot of fans down there in Macon that, uh, that you got to play at. It's going to be a different arena. It's, it's huge. There's no background in each uh, uh, there. So uh, I'll tell him, mention the coach, maybe he can go to one of the colleges and maybe y'all on the way down the day before can play it. Uh, we practiced at University of Georgia one day. Really? So, yeah, so get down there. And, just get used to it. As long as they're not breaking, just get them used Absolutely. to that because there's no background. It ain't like you get something to shoot. And it's, it's uh, and in college, that's all we played at. And we come in and have a shoot around ahead of time. But, you know, you only get like 20 minutes to warm up and you're playing ball at 12 yeah. o'clock because they have games, games, games going on. So. Of course, we're here with Courtney Davis and Becca Leppard. Uh, well, uh, the, hold on a second. The Lady Rebels are heading to the state championship for the first time since 2004. What does that mean to you guys? I know you guys have worked so hard all year. I mean, we've just worked so hard. And like before every game, before every practice, we just we ask each other, like, who wants it more? And I mean, we like we scream to the top of the lungs like we do. and. 
we, we've just we've just wanted this moment so long, and uh, I think we've. I think we've accomplished what we wanted to. And tonight, we wanted it more. Yeah. Great great effort, girls. Oh, hey, uh, sometimes, uh, like I was talking to Coach out here, you didn't play that good offensively, but your defense, you hung in there and you played hard. So I, you know, I definitely think the defense won the game for you tonight. So uh, uh, let it be an offensive game uh, when you get down there Thursday. Yeah, we'll, uh, yeah. You can wear, uh, be loose, come out and play hard. Because yeah. you've already got the state runner-up. Sewed up. So, yeah. hey, go down there and get you the state championship. Nothing to lose now, girls. We're not Nothing done to lose. Yet. There you go. Not done yet. We'll get a couple more here on the here. And nice talking to y'all, girls. And uh, I don't know if they let us radio down there at the big big house, do they? <laughs> we'll ask them, coach. They may. I don't fun. know. We used to have a radio station. I don't know. Not in yeah. It'd be fun. It'd be fun. So, but girls, thank, thanks for joining us and great job. And we'll, be, we'll see you in Macon for sure. Thank you. Thank you. And who, who we got next on, coach? <laughs> here, Coach, grab, grab, grab the headset there. Y'all right. sit in the middle here. Well, hey, you be better than me. <laughs> and, now, and now we have Mackenzie Johnson and Abby Ledford. Girls, we're heading to the state championship for the first time since 2004. What, is, what does that mean to you guys? I know you guys are seniors on the team, put in so much work uh, throughout your four years. What does playing in the state championship mean to you guys? I think it's really awesome, and I think that our community, the way they've came behind us, is just amazing. And just to see our stands packed out was just totally awesome. Oh yeah, like we made it to the Sweet 16 last year, and that was like insane. But to like, actually be going to to state this year, like I, I, like, I don't even know what just happened, honestly. <laughs> hey, it's just like a stepping stone. You said you made it to the Sweet 16. Now you're moving on up. So, uh, you know, get down there and take care of business. So, right. you know, uh, Butler's played them three times, and Josie beat them once out of the three, so it's no different than what you, know you played yeah. them. So, you know and you it was a real with. close game. Uh, you can get on, I, I think it's like a 10 or 12 point game one time, but then uh, they, uh, it's close the other two, two times. Yeah. Girls, you know you're gonna have the community support. There'll be a lot of people from Blue Ridge in there. Oh, they'll be, they'll be down there. Well, it's, <laughs> it's a bad time, 12 o'clock, but there'll yeah. still be a bunch of people. Oh, yeah. Uh, 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 down there to support you. Uh, hopefully, uh, you get down there and play. It's a it's a pretty big place. Uh, don't need to get overwhelmed with it when you go in. Uh, uh, hopefully, I'll, I'll mention to Ryan. He might be able to let you out. We one year went down to the University of Georgia and practiced just to, just to get used to the. If it's still not against the NCAA rules, and then one time we went to Georgia College. Uh, down in uh, Milledgeville. Just to get playing in a big yeah, arena. Just got, we just had a shoot around, had a good time. Uh, a lot of them cut their autographs with Andy Lander. He, he used to be the head cut girls coach at the University of Georgia. Yeah, I watched him last night. He was on TV announcing, so he's, uh, he's still involved with it. So, uh, the girls, we're, we're proud of you. This whole community's proud of you. Probably you know, just uh, witnessed got, one of the best games in Fannin yeah. County history. When you got time, uh, go home, check out how many schools are in uh, A in AA. I'd say there's uh, close to 100 schools or maybe more. You're uh, one of the two left. So. It's crazy. So that's, um, that's amazing. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Well, girls, thanks for joining us. Anything you guys want to say? Just thank you, everybody, for this. Yeah. Really? Go Lady Rebels. Let's go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there we have a... Uh, We'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and sign off, Coach. Uh, but uh, we're here with Abby Lev from McKenzie Johnson. Uh, Lady Rebels win 43 to 41 over Butler, advance to the state championship. What a basketball game, um, Coach! I enjoy, I enjoyed enjoyed calling with you. Uh, just final thoughts as we as we close off. Uh, crowd support. I would say this has to be the largest crowd that's. Uh, Seen a basketball game here at Fannin County High School. I mean, there's all the rails up top. Still, a bunch of them are still here. I mean, uh, up on the rails uh, uh, up there, they're still showing uh, players coming out on the floor here. It's a uh, uh, the game's been over 30 minutes. Yeah. They're still <laughs> everybody's they're still, still a great crowd uh, here. Just sitting around enjoying it. So I remember one year we won the state. We come all the way back from making. We met in the old gym, and I bet we had 500 people. We had a, a convoy who picked us up from. Uh, uh, 
Jasper, and it is it, just we was all up to five fifteen all the way to uh, that. But the, uh, one time we won it was late at nine o'clock. It's too late for people, so we went. And, so, but uh, we're we're about to, we're about to close off here. I, w I do want to mention McKenzie. You hit two very important free throws in the fourth quarter. We we didn't mention that earlier, mm -hmm. but uh, free throws very important always, and especially this time of year, you got to make them. Those were very. Very clutch, Abby. You're a senior leader. You've you've, you've led this team for for many years, and uh, couldn't be more happy for both of you girls. I mean, it's uh, it's great, it's great. But uh, I'm Tim Tao, and uh, what a game here! Um, dream come true, girls. Yeah. Just get you one more. Dream come true. The girls are heading to uh, the state championship um, Thursday at 12 o'clock. Um, thank you for tuning in on ETC and Rebel Three and Rebel TV. Uh, signing off. Thank you very much for tuning in.